Hey. Oh no! Oh wait, we're good. Okay, what's up? Hello. Um, it's very bright in my room. It's not even sunny out. It's incredibly cloudy. I just have my uh, my verticals open, and uh, I'm trying to get this game to work <laughs> on stream. I tried to stream this before, and it didn't work out. So let's see here. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We're gonna do this. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. We're going to. Okay, it's working. All right. We did it. Uh, I hope my PC doesn't crash, dude. You know, I really hope so. I really hope it doesn't. That it does. Uh oh. Okay. Hold on. Hold. We're gonna start a new, new person. We're gonna be a uh, female shepherd. All right. It looks good on my stream or on my uh, my phone. Right. Yeah. New. New. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Oh man. Oh Lots man, I'm excited, dude. <laughs> I haven't played this game in forever. I've never beaten the first one. Establishing secure connection. My first Mass Effect was uh secure Mass Effect 2. I downloaded the demo. I remember first playing it. It was the year what year is it? <laughs> it was maybe 2006. It wasn't 2006. When did this? When did Mass Effect 2 come out? It's the 10th anniversary. Last year was 2011. That's not true. Oh, maybe it was. You know what? It totally was. Okay. So, Mass Effect 2. Oh, when was Mass Effect 2? I gotta look it up, dude. I gotta know. Mass Effect 2 came out. 2010. That's what I thought. Yeah, okay. 2010. So I played Mass Effect 2 in 2010. I didn't have... I downloaded the demo. I downloaded the demo on Steam. I can't talk, dude. Downloaded the demo on Steam. My PC couldn't run it. I had a shitty graphics card. I can't remember what I had. Please log in to access your profile. Uh, we'll name her, we'll name her Freya, like my dog. Freya Shepard. Profile reconstruction complete. That's not true. Please I need to, like, start fresh. New ID. There we go. Custom female. Please log in to access your profile. Okay. So, yeah, my PC couldn't run the demo. And then I got a new video card, and it was the first game that I tried. I was like blown away. Confirm free service history. It was weird because, uh, I mean, the opening of Mass Effect 2. <laughs> it's like your first introduction to it, and like what happens in the opening of Mass Effect 2. I'm not going to say it. Spoilers, because I'm going to play it eventually. I already know what happens, but, uh, yeah. It was weird. But I don't know. Like, I was totally fine with it. Like, that being my starting point. Cause that game is it's still the best in the series oh man that game's so fucking good uh hopefully uh hopefully this one hopefully it's fine i remember it just came across as okay back in the day when it initially came out uh should be a spacer both your parents were in the alliance military your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they transferred from posting to posting Never staying in one location for more than a few years. Following in your parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of 18. No. Where's the class where you work in retail and then you play video games? Where's that class? So, oh, when you were 16, slavers raided Mindor. What? Slaughtering your family and friends. You were saved by a passing alliance patrol. And you enlisted within the military a few years later, huh? 
Uh, you were an orphan raised on the streets of the great metropolises covering Earth. You escaped a life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the Alliance military when you turned 18. Um, should be an orphan. I mean, you're pretty much an orphan in all these 16, dude. Maybe not this one. Your parents are alive and well. Hmm. It would have been cool if you met your parents. If you chose a spacer. Although, do they say if they died? I don't know. I don't think I remember what I picked my first time through. I don't remember what Mass Effect 2's options were. Uh, we'll go Earthborn. Psychological profile. We'll be ruthless. We're going to be renegades. I was wanting to get the job done. You've been cold, calculating, and brutal. Your reputation for ruthless efficiency makes your fellow soldiers wary of you. Whoa. But when failure is not an option, the military always, always goes to you first. Soul Survivor? Uh... I think we'll go ruthless. We're gonna go ruthless. Oh man. Soldier, you get all the guns. Soldier, you get all the guns. Shotguns and pistols. I think in two I picked the uh the class that rushes forward. I forget what it was in that game. I think it was a sentinel. I don't think it's the same in this game though. It's different. Uh Biotic and Tech. This one has a sniper. The sniper's good. I kinda wanna use some Biotic. I think I wanna use Biotics. Should be Adept. I don't think I played Adept. I don't know why I'm using the mouse. I'm playing this with controller. <laughs> Better work. Okay, there it goes. Uh, oh, I think it was Vanguard that had the rush down. Then they had the shotgun. I think we'll go Adept. Light armor and pistols. Should go Adept. Or Sentinel. Oh, decisions, dude. I kind of want the sniper, dude. Infiltrator? Hacking? We'll try infiltrator. Facial identification. Oh no. I don't Confirm want... Facial identification. You can't use the... Like her as a base? Oh, that's weak shit, dude. That's okay. Uh... We're ruthless. We're renegades. Hair. That's all. Okay. Hair is its own category. Hair color. We're going to be gingers. Or maybe black. Woo. That's the default. Is that the default hairstyle? I need to go back. No. That one's different. She has hair in her eyes. That's, I want the default one. Which one is it? Hmm? Can you not get it? <laughs> Have that one. You can't get it. It's not that one. Oh, that's so lame. It's exclusive to the default one. Other mods for this game. <laughs> Better hairstyles. There probably are. That's like a... Ugh, I don't like that one. We have to go default. That's annoying, dude. Does she have short hair? Hmm...
that one. Maybe I wish you could like turn her around completely. Oh, the ponytail? The ponytail, huh? Purple hair? No purple hair. Red, red? Maybe that one. It's a little, a little peppery, a little salt and peppery in there. A little faded. Sure. Oh. Ponytail. I mean, Freya is black and white, so. <laughs> Her brows? Ooh. What kind of eyebrows, dude? No eyebrows? No, I need eyebrows. I don't want to walk around with a weird looking character the entire playthrough. Mmm. I don't like those. Oh, God. I think uh, you eventually get scars on your face. Do those. Do those. Darker eyebrows. Makeup. Do you need makeup, dude? Scars. No scars. My sister has that scar on her eyebrow. <laughs> she had a... An eyebrow piercing, it got ripped out at a Mudvayne show. What a dummy. Uh, also, Mudvayne sucks. But, uh... Yeah, I remember when that happened. <laughs> it was a crazy show. She should not have been in there. Nose? Uh... That's fine. Her face looks fine already. I'm not... I don't want to, like, get into it. She looks okay. We just change her hair. Maybe give her a different eye color. We'll change her eyes. Eyes. Whoa. Whoa. Bug eyes. Whoa. Whoa. Those like Alita eyes? They aren't that big. Ah, uh, we'll keep that. Color? Blue? Sure. She looks like a kid. <laughs> like, except her hair is... Makes her look kind of older. We'll change her color. We'll go black. We'll make it look like a... Make her look... We'll give it red. Red was my original idea. Or that one. Mm. My color is different than what the stream sees. It's my monitor. Colors are set different. Okay. Ah, oh, this looks like duty. <laughs> I switched it for myself. Yeah, it's like white. Okay. We'll go. We'll do that one. Finalize. Profile reconstruction complete. Oh, that's right. You could do. They used to be able to like share these online. And like download like different people. Ah, oh, I forgot you could do that. Man, I tried running the uh, old version. Identification confirmed. Uh, we'll go normal, and it wouldn't work. I couldn't get the resolution set. But then again, I had I had it modded using uh, I forget what the mod was called, but it was all like high res textures. It wouldn't work. Um, legendary or classic? Original 1 through 60 level range will be used instead of the new 1 through 30 level range. 
XP and talent points and progression remains the same, but the number of levels is doubled. Uh, does it matter? Probably not. Tutorials? I'm sure, we'll keep tutorials on. It's been a long enough time. Squad power usage. All? Yeah, all. I mean, you could change that. All right. We're playing this game. It's been so long. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of her family. Doesn't have one. She was raised on the streets. Learned to look out for herself. That's right. She got most of her unit killed on Torfin. She gets the job done, no matter what the cost. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Damn. Good opening. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. They called it the greatest discovery in human history. The civilizations of the galaxy call it Mass Effect. It showed I didn't read it fast enough. Whoa. There's a Normandy. Commander. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Requiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. Jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Hmm. Cut the chatter. Your soldiers act like it. That's right. We're ruthless here. We don't fuck around. I've never played like this. I heard. I'm on my way. Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. The fucking Joker, dude. I'm gonna be such a dick. Uh, I've never played the game like that. I've always been like a uh, straight paragon. Uh, I might mix it up, but uh, I think it's gonna be mostly renegade. Waiting, you're right, Kaiden. Ugh, you're right, Joker. Okay. Man, this looks okay. I don't know how it looks on stream, but for me, it's like 
Super smooth. Chakwas. That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Oh, you watch too many spy vids, Jenkins. Yeah, Jenkins. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. The doctor's right. The fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Yeah, Sorry, Corporal. Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before. Not one with the Spectre on board. Uh. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Yeah. Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I heard Nihilus once took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Man, I can't believe I'm on a mission with an actual Spectre. Shut up, Jenkins. What do you know about Tell me more. <laughs> only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Mm, no humans, huh? Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the Council races. Like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. What you did on Torfin, that's what they're looking for. Success at any cost, ruthless efficiency, show no mercy. That's right, I could do that. That's my kind of job. <laughs> the Turians wild speculation. The Spectres aren't interested in recruiting humans, no matter how capable. All right. They sound a little dangerous. How do you control agents with unlimited power? I suppose the council could revoke the Spectre status of an agent who got out of hand. At that point, Citadel Security Services would take over. Those CSEC grunts wouldn't stand a chance. The Spectres were 20 ordinary soldiers. The Spectres police themselves. An agent goes rogue, they send another agent to take him down. That's Spectre justice. The Corporal's confusing romantic legends with reality, Commander. Yeah, he sounds... He sounds like a dummy. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? Jenkins. It's, it's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main set. That's morning. nice, Jenkins. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. All right. Captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. See you later, Chakwas. Jenkins. I don't know about you, Jenkins. A terminal? Oh, it's just for the map. Can you open the map this early? Yeah, okay, no. This music's so good. What's up, Nihilus? Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It'll give us a chance to talk. Where's Captain Anderson? Said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Uh, so I'm what? A marine, not some tourist. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's more than just a tourist destination, isn't it, Shepard? Eden Prime is a symbol of your people. A perfect little world on the edges of your territory. Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Uh, what? Why are you asking? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? Sky of Hater? It's about time we told the commander what's really going on. You hate humans? This is far more than a simple shakedown. That's obvious. I already figured that out. <laughs> We're making a covert pickup. That's why Ooh. the stealth system's operational. Oh. Why? There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top. 
Information strictly on a need to know basis. I need to know that shit. Unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Prothean? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. So the humans fucked it up for everyone, essentially? By finding this? Humans. Uh, why did we tell him? Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? Yeah. You humans don't have the best reputation. True. Some species see you as selfish. Mm. Too unpredictable. Ooh. Too independent. Mm hmm Too dangerous. Uh, yeah. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate. Like hell he is. When do we answer to the Spectres? You're smart enough to know how things work, Commander. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. Fist. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. I was impressed when I studied the reports from Torfin. A grim business, but you got the job done. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. You, huh? Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Turians. Not all Turians resent humanity. Not all Turians. The potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. You support I this? Assume this is good for the alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on Earth. I Earth need needs this. Skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You will be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Uh. I didn't read Why any is of this. Why beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization oh, okay. is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small. Is that why Elon's going there? He played this game, and now he's like, "We gotta go." We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. It's already in the wrong hands, sir. Like who? The moment we found it. Isn't the most stable sector of citizen space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus system. The Attican traverses under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low key. Okay. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Mm -hmm. Just All right. the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. Oh. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! They 
out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. We're going in. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Damn. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Understood. Ready table, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. We are approaching drop point two. Well, ah. Okay, we're playing. Uh, what are my abilities? Overload? Sabotage. I use a sniper class, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. I should've went... Oh. Squares your fucking grenade or X. It's over here. Whoa. What are you? Shock absorbers? Okay. I don't know, Jenkins. Look at those trees. <laughs> This game looks okay. Oh god, Jenkins, I don't know. You just said that. It's so quiet. Ah, oh, Jenkins. Where's Kaiden? Okay. Not now. <laughs> oh no, Jenkins. Forget about him. Aye, aye. That's right, we're renegades. Uh, does Liara like renegades? Is that... That might change things. Uh, we're going this way. Metagel. We're fine. We didn't even get hit. Whoa. No reloading. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. 
It's gain levels. Uh, yeah, improve your squat. Okay. Decryption. Increases in tech mine explosion. Increase shield capacity by 30. Uh... Infiltrator. Reduce overheating? Ooh. We'll do that. I only have one, right? Oh, I have two? Whoa. Oh, I have three. Okay. Uh, new dialogue? Intimidate? Yeah, I think we're going to need that too. But pistols. Does 50 damage? Overheats enemy weapons. Oh. That's cool. Undo. We're definitely doing two in Infiltrator. And intimidate? Sure. Helmet on? Yeah. Back. Oh yeah, Kaiden. Oh yes, throw and barrier. I should have just went with Adept. Ah, I almost want to restart. <laughs> almost. Ah, uh, first aid? Yeah, you should get that. Okay. He's a sentinel? Ah, oh, maybe I should have picked sentinel. Oops. Damn it, Kaiden. Lancer. You could use the Lancer? Oh, you could use everything? What? I thought weapons were tied to classes. What? <laughs> Aren't they tied to classes in two? Maybe not. I thought they were. I always thought they were. Damn. I should have just went adept. Use powers? Because Tally's an adept. Oh, Liara. Or no, Liara's an adept. Tally's a tech. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Ashley Williams of the 212. He the one who charged your ma'am? We're on a mission. I need a status report now. Oh man. We were <laughs> patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others. I think I'm the only one left. Hmm, you abandoned them. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Just be a total dick. I mean, that's the playthrough. You abandoned them. You just let the rest of your unit behind to die? We held our position as long as we could. The Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Mmm, you stay here. Lieutenant Alenko and I will take care of this. Let me come with you, ma'am. The Geth slaughtered my unit. Give me a chance to get even. 
She knows the area, Commander, and we could use the extra firepower. Hmm, fine. Just don't forget who's in charge. Yeah. Understood, Commander. You give the orders and I'll follow them. I don't want to talk to you anymore. <laughs> Ashley. I don't like Ashley. Ashley sucks, dude. She's a fucking space racist. Uh, <laughs> let's go. What's in here? A scorpion. Oh my gosh, dude. Convert into Omni Gel. I forget that this game has like equipment. They took all that out in two. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Uh. Cannot adjust it. Oh, I don't have anything else. I have armor. Oh, yeah. Oh, it actually changes your armor. Did it always do that? Okay. This is better. We're going to look like that now. Ugh, ugly, dude. That's okay. Spend her points? Uh, she could automatically. I don't think we're ever going to use her. <laughs> save? We'll save. Hopefully my PC doesn't crash. I think we'll be okay, though. Auto cover. Come on. Okay. They're just shooting at the rock. He's not going to come out. Triangle is Metagel. Uh, oh, I leveled up again. What are your powers? Map. What do you map it to? Hmm. Info. Overheats and or weapons. Damages shields. Is it tap? Do you tap it to do it? Hmm. Oh, you do. It's recharging. I thought you could uh, assign multiple. Oh no, I used it like a dummy. Okay. Uh should heal. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. Hmm. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Okay. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. All right. The Spectre. Nihilus. Oh, pistols. All these are weapons. Take all. Okay. Uh. A new assault rifle. Lower accuracy. Ooh. More damage. Only one bullet, though. That's no good. I don't think I want that. 
Uh, we'll take that pistol. Sure. This way? Yes. Well. I don't know, this is where I came in. Okay. <laughs> Isn't it? I thought that was where I came in. Or are we just going back? I don't know. So confused. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Damn. Oh god. What did the Geth do to them? Ah. Who's doing like that thunder move? Is that Kaiden doing that? He's a sentinel. Oh, it's just them. Them dying. Okay. It's always like your last weapon used, right? Okay. Uh, advanced essential core. Override. Oh yeah. Okay. We did it. Humans. Thank the maker. Hurry. Close the door before they come back. What happened? How did you end up in this shed? We hid here during the attack. They must have come here for the beacon. Luckily it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. Manuel. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. True. Uh, you heard of this guy, Nihilus? Is he here? I saw him. The prophet. Leader of the enemy. He was oh my goodness. <laughs> That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry. Manuel's still a bit... Unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the destroyers. Bringers of darkness. Heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire. Screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Stay in a room with this guy? Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awaken the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. Yeah, jeez. Manuel, please indeed. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness. Are I like the fidgeting the that she's doing. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. <laughs> I can shut him up. Manuel, you cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. Damn. <laughs> what did you do? That might have been a little extreme, Commander. You can't just go around whacking people in the head. He's better off. It was only a matter of time till we did something crazy and dangerous. I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked in. 
Williams, take us to the spaceport. Good luck, Commander. Thanks. Awesome. Punch that guy in his stupid face. Uh. Yes. Is there something you need? No. You get moving. Good luck, Commander. Good. Thanks. Good luck to you. The guest showed up. I want to talk to Kaiden. Oh. Again. Uh. This way. This way. Yeah. I get so turned around. Saren. He's been, uh... This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? I forget what they call it. You could use some help on this one. Indoctrinated, I think. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Damn. Ah. Oh. B is melee, square is grenade. Whoa. This looks so much better. <laughs> ah. I don't think that killed him. Ah. I want to use triangle to switch uh to switch weapons. I don't know why that is. Isn't there still a dude over here? Yeah. Shields. What is sabotage again? Overheats. Oh, uh, overheats weapons. Uh, yeah. Whoa. Okay. That was cool. Man, I was watching uh some of uh awesome game dumps. Awesome games done quick. Something's moving. Over behind those crates. Oh, cutscene. Wait, don't don't shoot. I'm one of you. I'm human. I'm a human. Watching the Returnal run. He beat it in an hour, dude. That game took me it took me a long time. Uh you're a coward. I like the way you hid behind those crates during the fight. Really helped us out. Thanks a lot. Me? But but I'm just a dock worker. I don't even have a weapon. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. Other one? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> there were two Turians here. Your friend and another one he called Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Then what? Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. Hmm. That's we enough. Need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Oh, okay. I think the first playthrough I did, I like went through every dialogue option. Did everything. Oh, it's music. It's kind of funky. Take all. Blow him up. Wow. 
blew up his weapon. Oh, it's Kaiden. My bad. Anything? Nothing? Okay. You don't like that wall, huh? What the hell is he shooting at? Yes, I know. Just the dudes over here? Okay. I remember dying a lot at this part. I don't know why. Oh my god. Bad shooting. Is it? Okay. I wasn't sure if I was hitting him. Come on, man. Peek. Oh my gosh, dude. He don't want to peek. I could blast him. Whoa. <laughs> oh no. I fucked up. I should just use mouse and keyboard. Is this still recharging? No. Oh, it is. Oh, wow. It's got a long recharge. Oh, those dudes? Is that their little head? Oh, you can. Woo. Nice. Okay. All right. The uh, engineering's not so bad. Blowing up their weapons is cool. Accept the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. It's a long cooldown, though. No evidence. Whoa. Oh. What the fuck, dude? I don't remember this at all. <laughs> Can't turn the camera? Oh my goodness. They got him? Oh, they... Okay. Good job. Whoa. Ah. Oh. 
Weird frame rate on that shield. One left. Whoa. It's weird. Okay. Where's the sniper? Sure, we'll take all that. We did it. What are they shooting at? Dude, what are you shooting at? Ashley? I don't like her either. I don't gotta shoot her. No, they're too close. We did it. Music stopped. That means we won. Oh, there's the beacon. That's the beacon? I thought it was bigger. Anything else? Any secrets over here? What's that, huh? Hacking. Okay. A heat sink. Oh man. Oh. Okay. I get everything? I think I got everything. Any more? It's just them? Okay. Whoa. Fade to black? Fade to cutscene? Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Kaiden, you dummy. Oh no! Oh no! What happened? What the fuck? <laughs> we identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime. The Normandy. A human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Whoa. Whoa. This human must be eliminated. Damn, boobs. Uh, veiny boobs. I don't remember, man, I don't remember a lot of this. I don't remember the furthest I've got. I mean, I've gotten 
I think I've gotten to the point where you get everyone, all you the party members. How are you feeling? Uh what happened? How did I end up here? How long was I out? About fifteen hours. Something happened down there with the Damn. Beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security <clears throat> field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. You were careless, Kaiden. 15 hours? I wish I could get 15 hours of sleep. That sounds amazing. Look at those eyes. <laughs> Just wandering. Woo. Oh, he blinked. Look at that face. It'd be funny if they just moved on after a certain point. <laughs> I expect better of you, Lieutenant. You endangered the entire mission. Don't be so hard on him, Commander. We have no idea if that's what actually set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get a chance to... It's exactly what set it off. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. Uh... I don't suppose it occurred to you that Eden Prime has medical facilities. Damn. Listen, you're better off in this infirmary <laughs> than in any hospital on Eden Prime. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. Uh, I was dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction, nothing's really clear. Hmm, I better add this to my report. It may... Oh, Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings are normal. I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Oh. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Yeah, get out of here, Kaiden. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Uh Just don't care about any of these things. Well, maybe the Gath were pissed at them. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. <laughs> Guess haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The council's going to want answers. Uh, To hell with them. The council can kiss my ass. I won't <laughs> let them blame me for losing the beacon. I didn't do anything wrong. Damn. I'm behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. Damned hero. Sarah, that other Turian. Saren's a spectre. Other Turian? A living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue spectre is He's gone turbo? Saren's dangerous. And he hates humans. Ugh. He hates humans? Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? A vision. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? Mm. A warning? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the council, Shepard. Forget it. Don't think I'm crazy. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. Damn. Conspiracy theorists over here. 
How do you know, Anderson? Uh, there's no let him option. <laughs> okay, we'll do that one. It's not Ramsey. He's a specter. He can go anywhere. Specter. That's why we need the council on our side. Uh, they can't help us. They suck. When have they ever done anything for humanity? Yeah. If we expose Saren as a traitor, the council will revoke his specter status. I'll Fist. contact the ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Okay. Uh No renegade options there. Where do I check my meter? I think it's in your squat, right? Red 2 Renegade. Excellent. Uh, six points? Holy shit. Hmm. Chris, the amount of Omnigel recovered. Let's use a decryption kill. Skill. Jesus. To open secure objects. Oh. That's just for hacking, essentially. You get to hack more stuff. Oh, and it's sabotage. Okay. Uh, I like sabotage a lot. We also need intimidator, though. Max it out. Okay. Should be charming at all? Be a charming douchebag. Renegade Shepherd. Uh, all the options. Get them all, right? We'll get them all. Specking for dialogue. For now. I can't believe you get so many points. Okay. We're in the infirmary. Can we inspect her little laptop there? No. What's up, Kaiden? Okay, Commander. Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing James was hard and cruel. And yes, I heard you. I'm glad we didn't lose you too. Soldiers die. <laughs> oh my god. There's nothing we could have done to save him. No, I know that. But I don't have to like it. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The Citadel Council's not gonna be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the alliance. Hmm. <laughs> Keep it to yourself. Uh. <laughs> yeah, sure. There's something big coming. I don't want anyone messing it up. You read me, Lieutenant? Five by five, ma'am. Is there anything else before we head ashore? Just secure your mouth. Damn. Secure that mouth, huh? Good lord. <laughs> Keep your concerns in check. You don't want to get a rep for questioning orders. Aye, aye, ma'am. You better secure that mouth. Jesus. Uh, Ashley, you're here, huh? After what happened to Jenkins, the crew could use some good news. They'll be glad to hear you're okay. Why are you here? <laughs> you're not assigned to the ship. <laughs> Captain Anderson had me transferred to his command. Uh, he must have figured I knew what I was doing. Something you wrong? Problem with me, Chief? You questioned my competence through the entire mission. Hell yeah, I did. Fuck you. Best way to stop that is to show me you're competent. But I don't remember inviting you to come back to the ship. With yeah. Us. You didn't. Captain Anderson did. Ah. 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 We're we leaving. Speak with Joker. Yeah. Goodbye, Commander. Get those finger guns. I love that she just gives her one. Fucking Ashley. Hate her. I've never seen any of these options. That's so cool. <laughs> Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? Uh, personal questions. How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. 
So I stayed on to do my part. Uh I guess we'll talk to her. I think you made the wrong choice. Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. Uh is that the only question she had? How did you end up so Yeah, okay. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to What do you think about Anderson, huh? And the Alliance always okay. you know about Captain Anderson. I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows where to let things slide and where to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. Man. I always thought this game had like a an okay soundtrack, but now that I'm like hearing it, it's like all fucking spacey. How well do you know the lieutenant? I like I've it. I've never worked with him before this mission, but he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Oh. Lieutenant Alenka was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. Oh. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. What the fuck? It's a long list of horrific side effects. Hayden's lucky. He just gets migraines. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye. It's my locker. Oh. Fucking Ashley. Dude, that was so testy. I've <laughs> Never been mean to uh, party members. Uh, don't tell me that. I know that already, Ashley. Anyone else? We'll talk to Anderson. Go speak to Joker. Oh, okay. Tell him to bring the Normandy here to dock. Got it. Does um, I know in two. Oh, okay. It does tell you there's a uh, squads. Cool. Take the elevator? Sure. Why am I going down? I need to go up. Oh no. There's no one down here. Is there? Oh. Assign equipment to them. Okay. There's our little Land Rover. The Mako. Okay. It's just the bay. What's behind here? Whoa. Whoa. What's up, Adams? Yeah, sure. What's your you're you you do not have you don't get a name? Lady? Whoa. Cool. I wish I could get the first version to run. The classic. I guess I could uninstall like all the mods I have, but uh, I don't think it would change the resolution problem. Cause it only it would only max out at like eleven hundred by something weird. I don't know. Joker's up here. Whoa, look at those shiny reflections. Okay, just talk to Joker. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins is hard enough on the crew. Hmm. They must really like Jenkins, huh? Look at those buttons. Or those lights. just about to bring us into the citadel see that taxpayer money at work I'm 
Wow. Whoa. Huh? This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. You oh. thought he was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Saren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Hmm. They're blind. I'm not going to sit on my ass just because the Council doesn't want to do anything. If they won't stop Seren, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already <laughs> done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. Ugh. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the specters. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Hmm. Agreed, Ashley. But also, you suck too. So, whatever. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. Oh my goodness! What the fuck, dude? We're just standing here. We're just standing here. Oh my gosh, dude. That's what you're thinking about right now, Ashley. We're just standing here. What the fuck, dude? Well, they built themselves quite the lake. Wonder if anyone ever drowned in it. Good God, dude. That's right, Kaiden. That's all you need to say. <laughs> Jesus. Uh I'm gonna hack fucking Undine's computer. Oh. Yeah, this sucks with the the stick. The D pad's the way to go. Captain Hendrickson reported some unusual energy readings during a patrol of the Argos Row Cluster. She had particular concerns about the Hydra system, but as recalled, but was recalled before her team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for this for that sector. Do we want to send in a recon team? No. Uh Man. This game looks okay. To me, it looks okay. I don't know how it looks in 720p. <laughs> but, uh, uh, I don't know if I have everything maxed out. I think I do. Maybe not. I mean, it's in 1440p. I know that for sure. Uh... 
can't look at the actual advanced when you're in game? I guess not. Okay. Oh yeah, these guys. These guys are awesome. Dang. Well, sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. What's wrong? You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong, and it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. Consort? Who is the Asari consort? Curious. You have not heard. You must be new to the Citadel. Everyone knows Shaira, the consort. Shaira. I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Oh. Where can I find the Sasari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day. Let me get a look at those hooves. I wish I had a, a photo mode. I don't think there is one. Oh. Please greeting. Human is always good to see your kind. Oh. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Uh your speech. Why don't you explain what you're about to say. Our people communicate less through words and more through sentence like movements. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kaelin? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Ugh. Morse full response, Din. You don't truly believe that. And if you do, I am very sorry for you. Aww. Tell me more about your species. Genuine yeah. Enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups. Though we are always welcoming to outsiders, our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. I'd be an Elcor, for Tell sure. Tell about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly. Within one lifetime, we established a regular route to the Citadel, and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. Hmm. What do you do here? Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the L Corps groups to the attention of the Council. They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The council doesn't care about our races. Chastising rebuke. <laughs> your tone is inappropriate, Dan. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Thanks. They're the only ones I'll be nice to. Everyone else could fuck off, especially you, Ashley. Well, she's right about that, at least. I can't tell the aliens from the oh my god, she's not right about that. Good fucking lord, Ashley. Whoa. Yeah, I mean, these textures definitely look better. Holy cow. Okay. Talk to this guy. You are in the wrong place, I think. 
your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Cormac, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? Damn. Just want to talk. You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. <sighs> Just <I> think <laughs> Did they gasp? Our species has always been granted many concessions. Volus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <laughs> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. Hmm. Man, this dude's got a bunch what of options. Place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door, in his own office. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus when I'm not being interrupted. <laughs> Calm down. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. Hmm, bummer. Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. Mm. What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task considering how often we are overlooked by the council. Chastising Rodinia. <laughs> the council favors your species greatly. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the council long before our species will. It's because you're a fucking dick, dude. Why aren't the Elcor or Volus part of the council? All species must prove themselves before they join the council. All but the Earth clans, it would seem. <laughs> Dismissive. Ignore the Volus ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah, this talk is wasted on humans. Bah. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Good day. Got my camo gear on. Uh. <laughs> Where are we going? This way. What's in here? It's a little framey. Uh oh. Pushing the limits. Of my PC. We'll talk to her. Good day, Commander. Good day. Ambassadors up the stairs, first room on the right. You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. Oh. What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please access Savina. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the Embassies. You seem to be distracted. The Embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. I should be going now. 
Have a pleasant day. Thanks. Allow me to be your guide. Greetings and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. Are you real? <laughs> uh no <Okay>. thanks. <laughs> A brief orientation Ever? is customary. Please allow me to do my job. Not interested. I'll pass. <laughs> I apologize if you find okay. this service unsatisfactory. Please submit any complaints in writing to the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board. Have a nice day. Ooh, she didn't sound very happy. Have a nice day. Just go straight here. Oh. Presidium locations? No. Wait. Does it tell you? Does it give you more options after that? Oh, it does. Okay. Financial district? Oh, wait. What's over there? Emporium Bank and Consort Chambers. Anyone else want to talk? No chit chatters? No? Nice water. No? Man, no talkers, huh? Just these two chuckleheads? Oh, who's that statue of? People are just chilling. Oh, oh, shopkeeper. Ooh. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. Oh. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Uh, what do you got? Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Upgrades? Whoa. Armor plating? Uh. Installing microgravimetric emitters. Emitters. Into a combat suit artificially increases mass. Uh. More physics. What? Oh, withstand attacks. Uh. I don't want any of these. Commander, it is good to see. What do you again. sell? Would you care to see some of What exactly do you sell? Only the finest and most luxurious items that credits can buy. This one is able to procure almost any item the human would desire, for a price, naturally. Why do you refer to yourself as this one and it? For the same reason that humans are so inquisitive. It is part of our culture. Specifically, Hanar only refer to themselves in the first person with family or intimates. Ooh. And we rarely do so with other species. It is just our way. Who are you? <laughs> this one's face name is Delon. <laughs> that should have been the so first question. Place simply refer to it as Delon. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, you. Whoa. 70 grand. Serta Foundation license? Uh, I feel like you'd need that. It only costs 100. Are you supposed to buy that? A new tool? Um, 
tech cooldown 12. Should I buy that? Maybe I'll buy that. Oh, I'm sorting it. <laughs> I was like, what am I doing? Okay. Uh, What do I got? Holy shit. Do I got enough assault? Oh my god, I got so many weapons. Sure. Although I never even used the assault rifle. I should probably give that to like Kaiden or something. Um... Avenger 1. Pistol. I need the best pistol. Ooh. Oh, four? Whoa. Um. Okay. Oh, I'm already wearing that. Okay. No Omni tools. Maybe I should buy that. Sure. I'll buy it. Sure. I could sell stuff. Um. Man, this is a lot of management. Sell those pistols. Oh my goodness, okay. Whoa. You can't just start shooting in here, can you? Whoa. You didn't see nothing. Okay. Infinite ammo. No one else? No one else. That's it. Oh, what's back here? Whoops. That guy? This place is a little too okay. What's up with you two, huh? What are you talking about? I can't tell the aliens from the animals. <laughs> How do I put away my gun? Whoops. It's not the sticks. Okay. No. Select. Okay. Let's select. Whoa. Who's that guy? Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 3. Here in the financial district, a number of businesses offer various goods and services to their exclusive clientele. The statue you see before you was commissioned to honor the Krogan soldiers who gave their lives to protect Citadel space during the Rachni Wars. In the aftermath of the Krogan rebellions, several embassies petitioned to have the statue removed. However, this motion was eventually quashed by the Council. Tell me more about the Krogan rebellions. In recognition of their efforts during the Rachni Wars, the Krogan were granted several new colony worlds by the Council. Over the next 400 years, the Krogan species began to expand. Blessed with an extremely high birth rate, their numbers began to swell. Faced with a critical overpopulation crisis, the Krogan started a violent colonization of nearby worlds inhabited by other Council species. The Krogan Rebellions had begun. For a full century, the Council and its member species fought to bring the Krogan under control. With the aid of the newly discovered Turian Empire, they were ultimately successful. You needed the Krogan to stop the Rachni, then you needed the Turians to stop the Krogan. So who's gonna stop the Turians? 
I am sorry, but that question is beyond my programming parameters. The Turians are members of the Citadel Council. They are not a threat to galactic peace. Hmm. Why did the Council fight so hard to keep the statue? The Krogan were instrumental in saving the galaxy from the Rachni threat. The Council believe this historical fact should not be forgotten. The Council also hoped that preserving the memorial would improve diplomatic relations with the Krogan and bring about a peaceful resolution to the rebellions. Unfortunately, the Krogan refused to negotiate and only surrendered after their population and homeworlds had been ravaged by the Turians. Hmm. Serves them right. God. Uh. What were the Rachni Wars? Nearly 2,200 years ago, explorers seeking to expand citadel space opened up mass relays leading to systems controlled by the Rachni. A highly intelligent and aggressive insect race, the Rachni unleashed a war of conquest against the rest of the galaxy that lasted for nearly three centuries. The emergence of the Krogan finally turned the tide in favor of the Citadel species. Krogan forces provided the numbers necessary to halt the Rachni advance and drive them back. The Krogan then pursued their retreating fleets. Able to survive the harsh environments of the Rachni homeworlds, the Krogan hunted their enemy to extinction. Hmm. Was it really necessary to wipe them out? I am sorry, but a value judgment of that nature goes beyond my problem. Log off. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avina. Have a pleasant day. I wish I could log off. That's not true. Always log on. Always be logged on. What's up with you, lady? Nice hair. Like... The hair looks... I don't know how the hair looks. <laughs> it looks weird. Like it makes their heads look thick in the back. Or like it's not, the bun's not tight enough, rather. You know, like it looks like a saggy bun. I don't know. It j it looks like how I do my niece's hair, essentially. To where it's, where it looks like shit. I can't do hair. I don't have any hair. How can I do others hair? Keepers. Yet everyone just lets them go on doing whatever it is they do. What choice do we have? If we try to stop them, they just shut down and another one replaces them. It's just strange that we know so little about them. Not to mention frustrating. Hmm. They don't gotta know everything. Hello. Welcome. I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Clients. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Oh. Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. What do you do here, Nalina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. Ooh. Sounds interesting. Try out your services. Excellent. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in mm, three or four months. What? Are you serious? <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? Hmm. What is the consort? What does she do? It's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people, and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. 
Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. She's like the oracle? You make her sound like some kind of oracle. Oh. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. Mm. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Yeah, in three to four months, lady. Nalina. Oh. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I was oh. Just Ooh. Sexy walk. Whoa. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Uh sure. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Okay. What are you two doing? What are you doing? Hmm. What else you got to say? An hour here is better than a year on leave. Whoa. If only I could afford to come more often. Uh, what? No question now. I'm trying to relax. Okay. I'm not going to say it. Come more often, huh? I can't believe I didn't know it sooner. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Whoa. Wait. Okay, this way. I got confused. Is it Kaiden? What do you got to say about this place? Oh my god. Still hung up on that, huh? Oh. Oh yeah. The is a oh. She has quite a gift. I thought it'd be like a seedling for the future. Like she'd give us her her brother's name, and he'd be like a party member. Be like oh, but no. Whoa, nice room. Nice orb. What are you doing there? It's like an egg. Sitting there. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here an hour citadel. I just got here. I don't like people spying on me. Oh. I apologize, Commander. I make it my business to know when important people arrive on the station. Many of them become clients. But that is not why I asked you here. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Hurry up. <laughs> Get to the point. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen Whoa. to you and let the matter be. Why are you touching me? <laughs> what went wrong? You. I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. Uh, I'll see. I don't make any promises, but I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Commander. That is all I can ask. Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop Whoa. spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Whoa. Take it easy. <laughs> that, that was weird. Yeah. What do you think, Ash? You're right. Okay. No auto doors. You gotta press a button every time. That's the future. That's the future. Press a button every time. You got anything else to say? Okay. You are ever asked to aid Shaira. It's quite an honor. Mm hmm. I think I'm oh, wait. Here. Of Hold on, let me ask you about Septimus. Whoa. If you are ever asked to aid Shaira, it's quite an honor. What do you know about the general? He's been seeing the consort for longer than I can remember. 
Then one day, he stormed out of here furious. He hasn't been back since. He was always very respectful to the Acolytes. Very noble. Hmm. Okay. I think I'm done here. Of course. Come back anytime. We're done here. This is a fast travel? Yeah. Uh... She wanted us to go to the bar. I wonder where the bar is. It's probably around here somewhere. We'll walk it. Uh, C-Sec. That's where the cops are. What's over here? Oh, this is where I came from. Right? Oh no. We started from down there. It's just a little a little path. Okay. What was our original goal? <laughs> We're supposed to talk to the the council. That's right. Oh, I kinda wanna go to the bar first, talk to this guy. The general. Just gotta find it. Uh we got a map? We do have a map. Consort Chambers. Emporium. The bank. I don't think I went in the bank. Embassy Lounge. That's where we just were. I think we got to get out of the Presidium. Go up there. Avina. Okay. Out of the way, Ash. Mmm. Tower. Whoa. It's not here. <laughs> Let's just talk to the council. We'll do that later. I want to talk to the soldier first. Uh, so would it be... Oh, it's just... Uh, yeah, sure. Kaiden's fed up. Not to you, Ashley, you fucking bigot. Okay. Look at that bug thing over there. What's it doing? Please do not disturb the keepers. Okay. We won't. Where is this lounge? Is it the C Sec lounge? Oops. Where do these go? Whoops. <laughs> Let's select. Okay. Oh gosh. To the wards. That's where we want to go. Cora's den. Okay. Oh, what? <laughs> Dang it. Okay. I've never seen that before. Interesting. Uh, tower. Okay. Saren's hiding something. Oh. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Whoa. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. 
You don't like Saren, huh? You blew it. <laughs> Who is that? Who is that? I'm gonna say you blew it. Sounds like you came up empty. <laughs> Saren the Spectre. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck. Shut up, Kaiden. Maybe they'll listen to you. I'm trying to talk to Garrus. You don't want to keep the council waiting. Ugh, okay. Garrus is cool. Man, look at that water. It's so... It looks weird. <laughs> nice water. Okay. The art style, though, like, yeah, the aesthetic of this game, of all these games, is still pretty good. It's appealing to me, at least. Their version of space. What's up with you, lady? Nothing? Anderson. The hearing's already started. Come on. Going up those steps on his tippy toes. Anderson. Investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. Oh. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved. Humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. Mmm. That was you. You're the one who destroyed the beacon. Then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame and cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson. He's taught you well. But what can you expect from a human? Ah. Oh, typical. Saren <laughs> Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his Whoa. decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. Uh, you heard him. Quit protecting him. His position as a specter. You need to open your eyes. What we need is evidence. So far, we've seen nothing. There is still one outstanding issue Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? Ah. You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. Damn. Whatever. The council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the guest. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. Just look at his face. He's got like geth wiring coming out of him. Just jump in, Undine. It's Undine, I think. Undine? I think it's Undine. Oh, it's Udina. You and Saren have too much history. It made the council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. God damn. How do you know? Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. Ooh. I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. Okay. Now what? What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. 
What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Um, I'll talk to him. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with him. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. Captain deserves better. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Ooh. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. <laughs> it's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Mm. See the general that that lady was talking about? Any other Maybe leads? There's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? Wow. An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. You and Saren have a history. About what 20 happened? years ago. I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I thought you didn't want to talk about it here. ...with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target. But a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just... ...covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Damn. So would I... Renegades. Sometimes a thousand people must die so a million can live. Oh, God. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. So Sometimes would I. <laughs> That's like an endless loop. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the council. He's just frustrated. The council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Mm. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the council. The ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. My gosh. So many options. Why do we bother? Who cares if we get a seat on the council? What's the big deal? If the council passes a ruling on an interstellar matter, we have to follow it. We don't have the fleets or political allies to defy them. Once we get a seat on the council, we'll be able to influence those rulings. Man, look at all our guns. Our no more jumping through hoops whenever we want something. Take this mess we're in now. If humanity had a seat on the council, we'd just send the Citadel fleet out to take care of Saren and his geth. Problem solved. Hmm. Problem solved, huh? You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Damn, species? Suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got into it. But I guess enough was enough. That's like... <laughs> it's so funny because when you think about it in our terms... You're an embarrassment to our species. It's like, damn, dude, we're the only species. But in this game, it's like, you're an embarrassment to our species. Whatever, dude. There's a million other species that also have embarrassments to their own species. Uh, they abandon him. This embassy was supposed to help humans. Harkin may be human, but he's also an ass. He's had more than his share of chances. If the embassy wasn't protecting him, he would have been fired 15 years ago. CSEC is better off without him. Damn, okay. Spectres. I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. Hmm. How are they, uh... How, they How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? 
You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. The Council's always looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done, like you. They've been watching you for years. They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation. But with him gone, things are still up in the air. Hmm. What's their command structure like? There is no command structure. Each Spectre answers directly to the Council. Sometimes they're sent on specific missions. Other times, they act on their own. They tend to operate outside the law, do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. The Council just turns a blind eye. Spectres have a lot of power, Shepard. What happens when a Spectre goes rogue, like Saren? It doesn't happen often. The Council is careful when they select their candidates. But when something does go wrong, there's usually only one solution. Send another Spectre to bring the rogue agent down. They sound like shadow operatives. Everything about them is classified. We don't even know how many there are. The latest Alliance estimate puts their numbers under a hundred. But the Council couldn't do its job without them. They're the Citadel's top agents. The last line of defense. The final option before open war. The entire galaxy respects and fears them. If a Spectre shows up, you know something big is about to happen. Damn, a lot of info on Spectres. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone, not directly. He's just a resource we can use, or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. Hmm. That DLC is really good in Mass Effect 2. Man, I want to replay Mass Effect 2. Tell me about Bar Vaughn. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius. Doesn't do anything illegal, but he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. Okay. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. Go to the bar. What do you got to say, Ash? So, this is where the council passes judgment on all saloon folk, huh? Ever get the feeling ran over our heads, Commander? No, Ashley. Oh. What are those cherry trees? This is it. The very heart of the Citadel. The pinnacle of galactic power. Pinnacle. Think about it, George. This place sucks, Kaiden. Relax. What fountain? There's no fountain. Okay. Chorbon? Who's Chorbon? Oh. What are you doing? Oh, get. Hmm. Um, yes, is there something you want? Yeah, what are you doing? Why are you so interested in the keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh. I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Oh, why not? Just talking. Is there something wrong with that? <laughs> no. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the keepers. So far, I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically, we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. Hmm. I can help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm the authority. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. Ooh. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. 
I want to know what makes them tick. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. Science, huh? And good luck with the scanning. I don't think Ashley likes science. What's up? Okay. Updated the database. Okay. 30 credits. Ain't to get XP. Rear Admiral. No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the council's assistants. Commander. 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 Yep. Nothing. Cool hood. Is that his face? That tone? There's like a light underneath that hood. Looks like it's lit up. Cool. It's not lit up. It's just his face. <laughs> Hello? Tyrion? Sorry. No, I just want to, ask a couple of questions. to who? What is he talking to? Commander. Weird. Can you go in here? No. Bummer. Uh, I think we just go to the bar now. The wards. There's no more talkers in here. None of you guys. She got cool hair. White. Yeah, this place looks pretty cool. They should have did like a full-blown remake. Uh, why didn't they? They keep trying to make a new one. Not keep trying. I mean, they only tried once. <laughs> didn't go too well. I never finished Andromeda. Big shocker. I never finished games. But uh, I extra never finished that one. I finished all three of these. But uh, that game just... Ugh. That game sucked. <laughs> I did not like it. Whoa. What's going on over here? You harassing this guy? Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? What's the problem? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. Oh. So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. Registered evangelicals must follow regulations. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. Mmm... Still religion here, huh? Uh, arrest it. Don't arrest it. You're pathetic. Let me talk to it. Like I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to try. Do you desire to learn of the Inkindlers, or has the honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Hmm. The Elcor are the ones I like. The Hanar, or whatever. Uh, this isn't the way. <laughs> it's not. Get that shit off the street, dude. Keep it in a church. Uh, what are you doing? Are you allowed to preach here in the Presidium? The words this unworthy one speaks are merely observations of the truth. The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. <laughs> Get out of here! Uh, what are the Enkindlers? Enlighten me. Your people know them as the Protheans. Oh. They are the true creators of this one's people. The Enkindlers raised the Hanar from ignorance into consciousness by granting this one's people the gift of speech. Are you sure about that? Purchase a permit. That's all the CSEC officer wants. Why not just buy the permit? The truth of the Enkindlers is universal. 
This one humbly believes that the truth should not be suppressed. Exacting payment as a means of imposing limits upon the truth is an abrogation of this one's religious freedom. Ah, uh, get out of here. Church, evangelize somewhere else. This one's beliefs will not be suppressed. If others wish to try, they are welcome to do so. You're right, this guy sucks. Any progress with that Hanar? Ah. Uh, no. Sorry, I'll let you know if you come up with something. <laughs> I don't care what the something is, as long as it rids me of the Hanar. Okay. This one humbly submits that it is not preaching this isn't the, the way truth of the enkindlers, and thus is this really how you want to represent the enkindlers? The truth of the enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Oh, I don't have the the options. Should I come back? There's trouble anyway. Could I buy your permit? I'm not buying this jerk a permit. I'll be back. Yeah, we'll be back. This one will continue. Give you a stern talking to once I level up my speech. Um, this is to the wards, isn't it? Yes. Okay. I wonder if that quest is missable. It probably is. I don't know. I'm not buying him shit. How you holding up? Not too bad. No headaches worth mentioning lately. Maybe I'm getting used to the strain. Maybe you've just got a good stress release. I know that knocking the gas on their synthetic asses gets rid of my headaches. Ashley, you ran away. Okay. She's first out of here. When I change party members. Man, that dress is very popular. The openings. Do you really think we'll find him down here? He oh. almost stops in for a few games of Quasar before he makes his drop. This is gonna be his if we take down his supplier. That's the point. We want him angry. Angry people make mistakes. There's just something about this that makes me nervous. Good. He's a dangerous man. Now keep your eyes peeled for our mark. Who's fist? No, no other, no talkers. Nobody. Oh, what's Ashley doing? A lot of traffic here. Oh, you're just stuck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> traffic? What are you talking about? Oh my goodness. Do you think it's expensive to live here? She sucks. What do you got to say, Kaiden? Oh yeah? I don't see any. Elevator? In the recent okay. attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Hmm. What are you guys doing, huh? Flirting. She got like red streaks in her hair. She looks cool. open whoa <laughs> that your professional opinion sir he's right chief why am i calling her chief uh, no wonder they need us. Tabs on all of this. Presidium may as well be on another planet. There is definitely a gap between their presentation and what's here. 
Tracking arrivals must be a nightmare. This makes Jump Zero look like a portageon, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big, but this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? Uh, big club. Why keep humans out? No wonder the council treats us like outsiders. We'd be just another drop in a bucket they already can't carry. They must figure us for one more gang of FNGs looking for a handout. We're FNGs. I doubt it's personal. It's got to be a balancing act, like every other government. Uh, that's enough. All right, secure the chatter. We're all FNGs here, but we don't need to make it obvious. What's an FNG? Aye, aye, Commander. Fungible. Non. Ghost. Uh. C sec. We want, to go, we want to go to the the bar. Med clinic. Sure, we'll go in here. We gotta go everywhere eventually. What's up, Chloe, Mikkel, Michelle? Hello there, Commander. I'm Doctor Michelle. Ooh. Is there something I can do for you? I like your accent. You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Of course. 420,000? What the fuck, dude? Okay. Yeah. Let's look at the view of Nebula. Hardly a view. Whoa. Okay. Let's look at the map. We are here. Okay, nothing going on down there. Dr. Michelle. Uh Oh, keeper. Okay. Chlora's den? Cora's den? Should we just rapid transit there? Sure. A gentleman's club. Oops. Out of here. What do you got to say about this? A lot of traffic here. How fast do you think those cars are going? I don't know. Open this door. Oh. Or here. Okay. What's up here? Where are all the people? What are those? Oh, it's just an elevator? Oh, oh! <laughs> okay. That's where we just were. Oh, so this is like the red light district, essentially. Chlora's den. I gotta pee real quick. Hold on. Oh.
Okay. We're back. Ugh. My dog is just chilling. She saw me get up. Now she wants to go out. She got to go. I got to eat something. Me and her granola bar. I'll eat it right into the mic. Just for your ears. I want to do that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, man. What the fuck? Oh, shit. I accidentally threw a thing. What? Saren has men. In this place? Man, everyone's into a sorry. Whoa. Can't, can't aim at that butt. Nope. No butt aiming allowed. Oh. <laughs> nope. Okay. Whoa. We're looking for two people. There's a... Uh... Damn, girl. They look, they're wearing the... Uh... Oh my gosh. Okay. It looks like the Vera outfits in Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> Shit, Rex. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is his only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. Hmm. I don't know. I think we're going to get caught in the middle. Hey there, sweetheart. You looking for some fun? I got to say, that soldier get up looks real good on that body of yours. Why don't you sit your sweet little ass down beside old Hark? Damn. Drink. Let it go. Um. You're disgusting. I'd rather drink a cup of acid after chewing on a razor blade. God damn. You gotta do better than that. After 20 years with CSEC, I've been called every name in the book, princess. Um, maybe you can help me. Harkin, right? I was told you could help me find someone. A Turian CSEC officer named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down. I know where Garrus is, but you gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Just tell me where Garrus is before this gets ugly. But it's all related, don't you see? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? What? It's all very hush hush. The first human ever given that honor. And then he Nah, -uh. that's not true. So I don't remember this at all. So bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turian set him up. How do you know all this? He said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well spread them around. Uh, I wouldn't say you might as well. That's pretty fucking gross. Um, That is disgusting, sir. Uh, <laughs> You're lying. I believe a drunk like you. Fine, ask Anderson. I bet he tells you. He's too stupid and proud to lie right to your face. Why'd they kick him out? I have to ask him. I never heard any of the details. Bet it's a good story, though. The hero's fall. Classic tragedy. Ah, ah. 
Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. Oh. Uh. What do you know about Garrus? Damn hothead is what he is. Still figures he can save the world. Always bucking heads with the executor. He'll pay for it soon enough. The executor loves to put us lowly field agents in our place. Just look what happened to me. Uh, you're just a bitch, dude. You need to look in a mirror. Sober up and take some responsibility yeah. for yourself. Save your sermons. This ain't no church. Well, you're right about that. You got me there. Uh, did I already ask him about Garrus? What do you know about Garrus? Damn hothead is what he Yeah, dude. Okay. Don't pay for it soon enough. The executor What's it like working for CSEC? You mean what Sucks. It like? <laughs> executor suspended me without pay. Recurring violations. CSEC was keeping a file on me. Can you believe that? Every mistake I ever made went into the books. Get a little rough with a suspect, note in the file. Have a couple of drinks on duty, note in the file. Skim a couple of credits off a drug bus, note in the file. It's a goddamn witch hunt. Totally. Total witch hunt. <laughs> man, oh man. Uh, serves you right. Easy. You piece of shit. What the hell do you know? She'd be in fucking jail. Second, like being a Marine. People get pissed off if we shoot somebody. Investigations, inquiries, rules, regulations. Every day I plow through enough <coughs> red tape to choke a rhino. That's how you gotta be to do this job. So don't talk to me about right and wrong. You soldiers got it easy. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink in peace. Ugh. That guy sucks. Let's talk to this Krogan guy. The back rooms are private, reserved for Fist and his friends. Fist, huh? Who's Fist? He owns this club, but the customers have to stay out front. A lot of finger pointing in this game. What did that other Krogan want? Rex. Personal matter. Not real chatty, is he? Hmm. Goodbye. Goodbye. Enjoy the club. Try. You just let anyone in here, huh? Including this piece of shit. Uh, what are you? What's your... Not now. What's the show? Okay. There's no show here. Oh! <gasps> oh my goodness. Is that going through her? Okay, it is. I'm surprised they even let you shoot. You can't shoot her. You can shoot her, though. <laughs> Weird. What's up, Septimus? Commander. What do you want? Well, uh, problems? What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. So if you feel that way, then why spread lies about her? Because she rejected me. Me! Septimus Araka, General of the Turian. Oh my god. Incel, Incel Araka right here. Got rejected, huh? You're pathetic. <laughs> Some general. What kind of example are you to your troops? The troops can kiss my leathery backside. <laughs> All I wanted was to retire and be with her. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Oh shit, I could uh, I could renegade him. Get a grip. Never let the enemy see your weakness. You know that, general. Finger point. The one place I always felt at peace was with her. But now, so you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general. Yeah, dude. I don't think it could hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. Oh. Uh Finally. Now get up and get moving, General. <laughs> All right. I'll go to her after I've had a cold shower or two. Say so you're a bright Two. Kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? Uh, it depends. What do you want me to do? <laughs> There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why does he think that? Because I told him 
Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. Why are you messing with the Elcor, dude? Elcor are great. Uh how? What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. You will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Mm, all right. Where am I taking it to? And where is he? His name is Zeltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. But Commander sounds cooler. Hmm. I heard that, Kaiden. Oh, take it easy, Ash. What's up, Jenna? Hey, Jenna. Ah, oh, Jenna. It's okay. Um, put that shit away. What about now, Jenna? No gun. Ah, oh, a minute. Oh. Oh. Uh, we got work to do, dude. You think we just relax? We got work to do. Maybe later. I kind of want to see what she looks like when she relaxes. Shepard. I mean, not her. Sit forward. Oh. <laughs> I thought I was going to, like, lean in. I thought she was going to lean in. Okay. What do you got going on, dude? Nothing? That's it. So Garrus is... Where do you say Garrus was? He's in the... Oh, where'd he go? I forget where he said he went. Whoa. Whoa. I never noticed those cars. Cool. What's up here? Uh, oh, there is a photo mode. Oh. Interesting. What are we actually doing? The consort. Uh, we did that. We didn't do that. Oh, yeah. Missions. We gotta get Garrus. Oh yeah, he's talking. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Go see Barlavon to the bank. Okay. We can fast travel. Ah, uh, we could help that Elcor in the embassy. We can talk to that Shirinai girl or whatever her name is. And then, where the hell is Garrus again? The bank? <laughs> uh, we'll go to the embassy. Or is it the med bay? That's right. Okay. Whoa. That lady was running for a second. I'm guessing it's the guy... it's up here isn't it up here oh anderson oh anderson used to be a specter huh yes commander is there something you need hmm i should go i'll be here if you need anything okay 
Got nothing new to say. This one or this one? This guy? He's all ten. This is really not a good time. I know who revealed your secret. <coughs> it was a Tory named Septimus. I'm believing. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Not true. Look at this. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. Uh. Deal with it. Just make sure you leave Shaira out of it from now on. Agreed, most assuredly. It is clear that the consort was blameless. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. Whatever. <laughs> but goodbye. So Farewell, human. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, Din, not all humans are as you say. Yeah, Din. Hmm. You got anything else to say? The Earth Clan again. Okay. What? Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Good day. Do I have to go back and talk to that guy now? Probably not. Okay. I just gotta talk to uh, her. We're waiting on the Presidium Prophet guy. <laughs> I need more Renegade points. Uh, Anderson's there. Is this Udina's room? Or no? No. Oh, it's to the consort, right? It's a little framey. My PC. It's gonna die. Uh Presidium Consort. Did I scan this one? No. Nalina? It was a long time ago, though. I barely remember. What drew you back to the Citadel and to the console? I don't know exactly. It may sound strange, but I simply felt called. That's not strange. Many of us have felt the same calling. Though you are the first of your kind. Really? I hadn't seen any other humans working here, but I didn't want to ask. No doubt you were just the first of many to come. It's only a matter of time now that your species is spreading its wings. Oh. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a Oh. <laughs> she joined them, huh? Okay. Interesting. She still won't tell us who her brother is. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. Let's talk payment. I spend gratitude. Mm -hmm. I would not dream of letting you go without payment. I do not make a habit of incurring debts. These credits will cover your expenses. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. Oh. Oh. Very. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see words. Skin, tough as the scales on any Turian, unyielding, a wall between you and everyone else, but it protects you, makes you strong. You never hide your strength either. It serves you well, terrifies your foes. Few will dare to stand against you. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. That's it. Um, 
Thanks, I guess. Close your eyes and relax, Commander. Whoa. 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 What are we doing here? Cheek to cheek? Nah. Uh, oh, oh, shit. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. That was fast. You could already get down that fast. A trinket? What is it? What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. Okay. So long, Commander. I can offer you nothing more at this time. Did you guys see that? Sure is peaceful here. Sure is. Okay. Uh... <laughs> You guys see what I did to that lady? <laughs> okay. Uh, they're just standing there the whole time. Too good. What's this guy doing? I see even the humans find the consort irresistible. That's right. Uh, Hello again. The consort is very oh yeah. You got an appointment now? Done for her. Any chance I can move up on her client list? I did help her out. Yeah, she is grateful for your assistance. However, you have already been rewarded for helping her. The client list is a separate matter, and her schedule is completely booked for the next several months. Unreal, dude. I think I'm done here. Yeah, oh, I think I am done here. Time. Unbelievable. Uh, where are we going? We can go to the med bay. I don't know where it is. Maybe it's down here. Maybe it's over here. I'm pretty sure I've been to it before. It's in the beginning. Oh, there's a keeper. Got him. What's over here? Oh. Okay. Running around in my sweet camo. I don't like it. I'm not a huge fan. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Bar Levant. What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? That was the, the bank. Shepherd. You were at Torfin, correct? You led the final assault against the enemy base, if memory serves. Mm, are you spying on me? I don't like strangers keeping tabs on me. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. Uh, I need info. I heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Saren. You do? Hmm. S start talking. I need that information. Now. Threats don't work on me, Commander. Ugh. This information is worth a small fortune. But this is an unusual situation, so I am going to let you have it for free. Free? What's the catch? There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business until Saren turned on him. What a shock. Saren betrayed him. Imagine that. No matter what you think of Saren, he's not stupid. He knows the Shadow Broker is a valuable ally. Turning on him doesn't make sense. Not unless something huge was at stake. I don't know the details, 
but the shadow broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. Oh, Rex. I think I know him. His name's Rex. Yes, I believe he's the one. I heard he was paying a visit to Citadel Security. If you hurry, you might catch him before he leaves the CSEC Academy. Uh, why is he there? Isn't it strange that a Krogan would want to speak with CSEC? Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. You'll need to speak with him if you want to know more. Uh, I got some personal questions for Tell you. Tell me more about your job. Galactic finance is incredibly complex. A mix of laws and regulations from dozens of interstellar economies. I'm an expert in how all these economies interact. For a fee, I share my expertise. I also offer premium services for those clients who need someone to conduct business without drawing unwanted attention. Discreet and efficient. That's my motto. Sounds pretty shady. Everything I do falls completely within the bounds of interstellar commerce law. Even so, many of my clients would prefer their transactions remain undisclosed. For example, suppose a Hanar ambassador was petitioning the council to reduce tariffs on Hanar goods. How would it look if he had money invested in a Hanar exporting company? How would that look? If his true motives were to help his people, he would be accused of advancing the petition for his own personal gain. I can keep his personal finances private. Ah, uh, I don't buy it. Still sounds shady to me. Then we can only hope you will never be cursed with a large enough fortune to require my services. Hmm, okay. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. Most people think I deal in finances, <clears throat> but my real currency is knowledge. I trade information, and it has made me very wealthy. The Shadow Broker is the true master. Every day he buys and sells secrets that could topple governments, always giving them to the highest bidder. Yet somehow he never seems to upset the natural balance of power. All those secrets being passed around seem to even out. Nobody ends up with an advantage in the end. Any guess what his identity might be? I don't know. Nobody does. The Shadow Broker could be any race. Any gender. I have a theory that it's actually an entire group working under one identity. How else could they juggle so many contacts at the same time? How else could they keep all that information from getting crossed? But they've got the perfect setup. Every government is forced to play their game so they don't get behind. But no matter how long you play, no matter how many secrets you buy, you can never win. I thought you'd know more about the man you work for. From time to time, I come across information I sell to the Shadow Broker. That's my only involvement. I like it that way. The more you know, the more dangerous the game becomes. I don't like danger, Commander. I'll leave that to you. Hmm. Interesting. I didn't realize Shadow Broker was like, uh, such a big deal. <laughs> Like living here on the Citadel. It's been so long. I've forgotten Station everything. It is without a doubt the greatest wonder in the galaxy. It is a technological marvel, but its true splendor goes much deeper than the hull and engines. From the Presidium to the wards, the entire station is a testament to the success of the Council. All the species of Citadel space together in a single strong community. Oh, uh, that's enough. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye, Barlavan. Uh, we need to go to the medical. Oh gosh, I have no idea where it is. Let's look at the map. Embassy lounge, CSEC. Consort. Uh, it's over here. Oh, it's the profit. Where is the uh, set destination? Oh, you could put flags down? I want to zoom out. That's as much as it'll zoom out. Avena. 
What a shitty map. <laughs> I thought the medical was around here. Hmm. I thought I went to it before. This place is so big. Citadel Tower. What was back here? What do you guys say? Nothing? Nothing. What is this? Storage? Oh. Okay. Not a total waste. Citadel. CSEC. Uh, we should go to CSEC. We could just take the car. Take the car? I mean, I feel like I should really explore more, because I don't know where everything is. What's over here? <laughs> Look at this guy. Got a good lean. Financial... Oh, the preacher. Select. Okay. To the wards. The what? Oh, it is. The med center is in the wards. I didn't know that. I thought it was on this floor. Okay, let's go there. Or should we go to CSEC to get Rex? Let's go to Rex first. Out of breath. This guy's just leaning. Elevator to Seas Academy is located down this ramp past a small plaza. Representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Woo. Ah, uh, there he is. What's up, Rex? Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. <laughs> He's also a renegade. Get out of here. Yes, human. We need to talk. I'm trying to bring down Saren. Barlavon said to talk to you. Barlavon is a wise man. We may share a common goal, human. Dude, what an awesome voice. Uh, what goal is that? I've been hired to kill the owner of Korra's den, a man named Fist. He did something very foolish. What'd he do? He betrayed the Shadow Broker. The Warrior showed up here on the Citadel. She was on the run. She wanted to trade information for a safe place to hide, so she went to Fist. He promised to arrange a meeting between shadow broker instead he contacted Sarah 
Damn, why? What does Saren have to do with this? Well, the Corian has something that connects Saren to the Geth. He paid Fist a small fortune for her. If we get our hands on that evidence, we can prove that Saren's a traitor. The Council will have to listen to us. Where's the Quarian now? Last I heard, Fist still had her. Probably somewhere inside his club. You help me kill Fist, she's all yours. What about Shadow Broker? I want to know more about your employer. Can't tell you much. All I got was a coded message with the details of the job. Standard procedure. What about Garrus, that Turian? He wants to take Saren down too. We could Might use him. Handy. He was here just before you showed up. Said he was going to follow up a lead on his investigation. Wanted to speak to the doctor at the med clinic. Move out. Damn, we got Rex. Rex uses biotics? What? He's a biotic user? Rex and Kaiden? Leave Ashley out of this? I'll probably replace Kaiden with Garrus whenever I get him. Yeah, I don't know what my final team will be. Uh, except. His voice sounds amazing, dude. All the Krogans do. So do the Turians. Most of the Turians. Uh, Med Bay. That's where we gotta go. It's in the warts. Okay. So we got Rex. Man, it's that easy to recruit him. Oh, okay. I didn't tell anyone. I oh shit. That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Damn. Shoot him, Garrus. Hold on, what's my power? That's what I used. Are you sabotage? I feel like it didn't do shit though. Ah, bad shooting. <laughs> I look so weird <laughs> when I do that. <laughs> like my torso. Weird. Okay. What up, Garrus? Hold on, Garrus. What is this? Oh. It's a bomb. Okay. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Uh nice shot. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get <laughs> Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you, all of you. Who are they? Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They worked for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Corian. The one I told you about, Shepard. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Uh, Time we paid Fist a visit. Yeah. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Forget it. No. <laughs> Fist is going to be waiting for us. When we hit him, we better hit him hard. Damn, what a team. No humans allowed. Actually, besides me, but still. I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. Oh. Happy to help? You got it over your head. Um, you got it over your head, lady. Stay what were you thinking? Person. You're not cut out for dealing with people like Fist. That's good advice. All right. You're a doctor. Oops. I we already know that info. Right okay. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Nice talking to you. Goodbye. All right. See you later. 
Oh, whoa. Okay. Uh, so now we're going to Fist. We're going to the club. Who is that? Oh, it's them. What ship? That ship? What ship? Hmm. Emily Wong. Is she the reporter? Oh boy. I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? No. I don't have time to give interviews, Ms. Wong. I don't want an interview. I'm looking for information. I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. Lady, uh, I'm a woman of the law. I'm here to do my job, not yours. Yeah. Goodbye, Ms. Wong. Goodbye, Ms. Wong. I see, Commander. I apologize. Nice dress, though. Damn, she just leaves. Oh, she just leaves. I just... Hmm. Should I not be a dick to everyone? Because then I lose out on quests? It's okay. I only care about keeping... Uh... Rex. Alive. Forever. And that's it. Damn. I didn't realize Turians like hated humans so much. Expat. Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? Mmm, colonies. colonies are you talking about? <laughs> oh, my mistake, Earth Clan. I assumed it doesn't matter. Pharos? Novaria? Well, if you haven't heard of them yet. I'm sure you will soon. But it doesn't matter where you hail from. My goods are available to all. What do you got? Hold on. Talk to me about these what colonies. Can you tell me about Novaria? The corporate capital of the Attican Traverse. Very cold. Very snowy. I don't get too many clients from there. They all have their own private suppliers. Oh. I'd like to know more about Pharos. It's an old Prothean world. Their buildings still litter the surface. The humans aren't the first to colonize it, but they are the most recent. Hmm. I just realized I haven't heard from my contact on that planet for some time. Ah, well, I'm sure he's fine. What do you got? Tell me what you got? Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. Oh my god. 80,000. Uh, I can only wear light armor. 40k? My goodness. Uh, I wonder if there's like rare. These all say common. Ooh, limited. Unique item. Elk boss combine license. Uh, sure I'll buy that. It's $100. What did that guy just tell me? Oh, he just told me about the colonies. Is that really? Wow, it's you. Hello, Conrad. You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Who are you? Do I know you? Uh, no, no, I'm just a fan. One of your biggest fans, actually. Fan, My huh? My name is Conrad. 
Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. No, Conrad. Leave me alone. I don't have time for this, Conrad. I'm not here to be a role model. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. Commander Sh oh, shit. time for the little people. <laughs> Far be it for me to get in your way. You go be a hero. Damn. Ugh. I don't like that I don't get the last word. <laughs> Damn, we're just walking around being dicks to everyone. Uh, what's your what's up, Moreland? Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Oh. Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Non-human armors. They segregate everything. Oh, weapons. Uh. Metagel upgrade. Yes. Risk control. I don't know what these are. I'm just going to keep buying them. Because they're cheap. Another Metagel upgrade. Um. Another Metagel upgrade, huh? Oh, this is limited. An assault rifle? Nah, we're good. Damn. I want that upgrade. I could sell. These are all commons. Why is it labeled trash? Aren't aren't I wearing that thing? Oh, I'm not wearing it. I should be. Why am I not wearing that? Okay. We want the cooldown bonus. And then... Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> oh, whoops. I activated camera mode. Photo mode. Far back can you get? Okay. Dude, this looks nice. Okay. Uh, close. Out of here. Marlin. So long. Alright, where are we going? The fan. Uh, he left. Apparently, there's more to that at some point. The reporter, she left too. There's still eight keepers. Resolve the dispute. We'll do that later. Hydro system in the Argos Road Cluster. Uh, that's probably a later thing. Take down Fist. That's what we're doing. Okay. We gotta go to the club. Oh, we can't go there. It's going to make us walk. Uh, We'll start at the med clinic. I don't know where anything is. Markets in Cora's Den. Yes, that's where we need to go. Is it up there? To Flux. What's Flux? The Flux nightclub. Is that where Fist is? I thought Fist was in... He's in Korra's Den, isn't he? What's this nightclub, though? Whoa. What? Everyone knows Fist is one of the local criminals. Maybe I would be shouting from the mountain tops. Reflections. Yes, I actually buried some corpses under the stage 
I wonder how these these reflections are affecting my frame rate. I feel like it's a lot. <laughs> oh, I can't even look at them. Cause like the frame rate is weird. I could tell by looking at it on the reflections. Cool. What's up, Rita? Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do? Little Riri, what's up? You got problems? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. Say she worked for Doran before she left to. Ugh, sorry, I don't want to bore you with my problems. Is she the one trying to be a consort? Uh, just tell me. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Oh, Day. Jenna. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. Ooh. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. Ugh. Well, she's not a very good bartender. She wouldn't She wouldn't serve me. She couldn't tell me to wait a minute. Uh, so. <laughs> Contact at CSEC is? No. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it for Jenna's safety. Mmm. I gotta go. I hope it works out. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Hey, thanks for the talk earlier. I hope I didn't bore you with the stories about Do you know who her contact is? No. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it for Jenna's safety. Alright, I'll talk to her. Maybe I can help her understand just how dangerous Cora's Dan is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before Got it. <laughs> Thanks. No problem. I thought that was Kaiden. Hey, good to see another human in there. Why, dude? Not a bad place, but it's just not the same as back home. Whoa, look at that Solarian. Nice green. What's up, Rex? Places like this always want to hire Krogan bouncers. It's like we're a status symbol for them. Hmm. I almost never see any keepers in this club. I guess they don't care what happens here. That or music keeps them away. Holy shit. Is this like a cyber cafe? What is all this? You got slots? <gasps> Quasar. What is what is this? I've never seen this in my life. What do we do here? Uh I don't know what this is. Sure. No thanks. That seems weird. Low stakes quasar, high stakes quasar. Suspicious gambling machine. Someone wrecked this machine to funnel credits their way. I'll run a trace. Who is it, Garris? Anything you want, you can find for sale on the wards, legal or otherwise. Nothing? Man, you can just pull your gun out anywhere, huh? Weren't you just out front? They said all Turians look the same? He looks like that guy. It's the same guy. Okay. We're going to Korra's Den. We still can't go here, though. Oh, yeah, we can't. Oh, God damn it. Ugh. Okay. No sol- no one trying to fight me? No soldiers? Nothing? Oh, shit! Uh... 
Do sabotage. Oh man, there's a shit ton of dudes in here. Where'd Jenna go? <laughs> Jenna! Oh shit. What the hell happened over there? Whoa. Dude, photo modes are the best. Cool. Close. Oh shit. You're still alive. I thought he died. Shoot his knee. didn't blow up. Was it supposed to blow up? Oh, it did. Think I die? Yes, he did. Okay. We're good. Where's Jenna? This is supposed to be the marker for Jenna. But, uh, maybe she'll show up after we do this mission. Whoa, smoky. Whoa, hey. You friendly? Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. You're making a mistake. I just killed 50 bodyguards to get in here. What do you think I'll do to you? Uh, well, uh, uh screw fist. He doesn't pay us enough for this. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Mmm. True. I helped our renegade. Ugh. Pistols? Ah! Oh my gosh. Garrus, you gotta go over there. Cares. Out of the way, dude. Oh my god. Gears is dead. Wait! Don't kill me, I surrender. Start talking. Where the Quarian is, and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait, I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here, said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. You son of a bitch. Tell me where that meeting is before Whoa. I blow your lying head off. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Damn. The shadow broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. He deserved it. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that Quarian. I'm glad they don't do, uh... 
Garrus didn't like that. I'm glad they don't do that in this game. <laughs> uh, okay. Recoil dampener? I'm not even using any of this stuff. I probably should. Flipped over that table. Optical storage disk. Oh shit, we're on a timer? Come on, open the door. Oh man, I'm like low. Man, I don't like this auto cover. Ugh. Where are they at? I forget where, uh... She's in the markets, isn't he? Isn't she? No? Tali! Shit. Ah. Hold on, let me scan this keeper. Just set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Uh are you okay? We'll be nice. I took care Don't of him. Don't worry about Fist. He got what was coming to him. Then I guess there are two things I need to thank you for. Who are you? Someone who saved your life. Uh, a friend. My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. Damn. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many? Who's this? The Damn, Korean? we got a crew. What are you up to, Shepard? Shut up, and I'll tell you. Bring down Saren. I would have told you that if you hadn't jumped down my throat. I apologize, Commander. This whole thing with Saren has me a bit on edge. Maybe we should just start at the beginning, Miss. My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Oh. Uh... What about Sarah? What kind of evidence did you find? How'd you get it? During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, 
The Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. She's got tubes coming out of her arm too. I a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. Who's that? Saren's voice. Oh. This proves he was involved in the attack. We got him. What's the conduit? He said Eden Prime brought him <laughs> one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the... Oh, shit. Who was it? I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Reapers? From Final Fantasy? I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. Uh, it's not far-fetched. Vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The council is just going to love this. Don't tell them. Will they believe it? This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The captain's right. We need to present this to the council right away. What about her, the Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. What about your quest? I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. Mm, okay. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Damn. Uh... Damn. Who to take? This is, this is the real struggle of this game. Is who to take? Definitely not Ashley. That's not a struggle at all. It's between these three. They're such a good crew. <laughs> uh, Rex. Rex and Tally? Rex and Tally. I mean, I pretty much have the Garrus role. I have the sniper. Hmm. We'll go Rex and Tally. Examine. Oh. Okay. Rex and Tally. I get the feeling they're not used to seeing Krogan walking around. Whoops. Oh. So much empty space. A thousand of my people could live here and hardly even see each other. Yeah, this does look pretty cool. It's like uh it's like that ship in Interstellar at the very, very, very end. When, uh. Man, that movie's fucking great. 
but I will spoil it. When he sees his daughter, when she's old. <laughs> uh, we don't need to talk to you. She's like, uh, I think they're on a ship. It's like the last bastion of humanity, essentially. Samesh, what's your story? Ah, uh, maybe. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Patia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. Mm, what is it? A lot it? of people want my help these days. <laughs> my wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. That's garbage. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. Uh, we'll find Look out. Into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Bosker, huh? I have to go back to that bar anyway. We gotta talk to, uh... Jennifer, not Jennifer, Jenna. <laughs> What's going on in here? Ah, oh, Bosker. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Stop stealing corpses. You cut the red tape for a grieving husband. <laughs> I want you to release the body of Nerali Batya. Commander, nothing would make me happier. I'm afraid, though, that it's not quite that simple. Serviceman Nerali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. Oh. Running tests. Toxic. Why would she be toxic? You think that her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nerali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is, in fact, extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Um... Should I just renegade? I'm releasing the body. You know oh, shit. I am. If I want Nerali Batia, I can get her. Commander, I don't think threats are necessary. Even if the body were here on the Citadel, would you really risk going in shooting to get it? It? Yes, I would. You said you'd been briefed on me. How far do you think I'm willing to go on this? <laughs> All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Batia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Fucking better, Bosker. Talk to Samesh. Whoa, hey. Executor. Uh, we won't talk to you right now. Is this the other one? The Solarian one? Oh no, it's just this way. Okay. What is all this? What's all this? Leaves? Pick them up. Keep this place looking clean. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? Took care of it. Your wife is coming home, Mr. Bacha. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye. We did it. Uh. Now what are we doing? There's so much to do. Oh yeah, we gotta talk to Jenna. All these assignments. Rita's sister. Uh. Miss. Oh, give that to Miss Wong. Miss Wong. All right, we'll talk to. Talk to Jenna. She is. She's at chorus. Man, I don't know where my dog is. She's just laying around the house. I gave her a tennis ball. I got her toys. 
the other day. I got her a little like uh, hedgehog looking thing. It's like a stuffy. Destroyed it already. And then I got her a four pack of tennis balls. She already destroyed one of those. <laughs> and I gave her two to start with. And I don't know where the, the second one went. But she's a beast, dude. She'll just chew on anything. I don't understand it. She's not even a puppy anymore. She's like two. Hi, I'll be with you in just a sec. No, Jenna. You've gave me this line before. Make time now. I need to talk to you about your work with CSAC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customer. Don't be stupid, Jenna. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. Ugh, oh, Jenna, you dummy. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. Good girl. Mmm. I'm busy. The other waitress can help you. Ugh. Oh. Biatch, dude. Tough girl indeed, Rex. Can you, like, talk to her? Or Tali? Huh. What's up, Harkin? Still being a piece of shit. Uh, Chelik. Who's Chelik? What's your story? Oh. If you have questions about Jenna, meet me at Seasick Academy. Huh? Are you talking to me? Push off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. Whoa. Who's that guy? Now we gotta follow up. I guess we better go find out. Whoa. Weird music cue. What was that about? Uh go back to CSEC. Now I'm interested. CSEC is here. CSEC. I'm missing one. What is it? I'm not sure what it is. Okay. Where is this guy? Oh, I probably got to go down. That's to the docking bay. Oh, right there. Where are we? Whoops. Uh, select. Okay. You don't like heal right away or out of battle. Where are we going? We're going this way. Is it this way? No, it's to the wards. Where are we going? This map is too weird. This way. Okay, Julie. Whoa. Let me get this straight. Your business partner, Short. He's threatened you. Well, no, uh, not exactly. But he wants to meet with me. Dude, Tali looks so cool. So does Rex. Who are you? What are you doing here? I am Jaleed. I came here to seek aid from the authorities, but they won't listen to me. My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. Damn, sad. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. 
Hmm. What do you need? Is there something I can do? Uh, talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Uh, I'll talk to him. Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Wasn't that the Salarian who asked us to scam the Keepers? Oh. The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. Oh, what's this guy fucking scheming, dude? I see. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorbin these days. Well, good luck. Good luck. Thanks. Uh, I don't trust that guy. What do you got to say about this Rex? Totally. He sounds like uh, what's that guy's real name? I'm thinking of the Big Lebowski, the cowboy guy, Louis Lamour. Is that his name? Uh, can't help us right now, huh? Man, there's so much shit to do on the Citadel. Uh, we just wanted to talk to Jenna. Careful. Tone, Damn right. Blown Jenna's cover. We were trying to help her. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. You're full of shit, dude. I don't believe you. Get her out. It's too dangerous. You need to find another way. It's not that simple, Shepard. This job isn't easy, and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you were so concerned with her safety, oh, we can help each other. Always thinking ahead, detective. That's <sighs> part of the job. Now are you gonna help me or not? Pathetic? Damn, I don't have the option yet, dude. I need to be more of an asshole. Ugh, oh, fine. Help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Why are you so concerned about these mods? We have access to some of the most sophisticated weaponry there is. It's what gives us our edge. What do you suppose happens when we lose that edge? These give criminals an advantage we can't afford to let them keep. Hmm. I'll persuade Jax to tell me where these mods are coming from. No. You tip Jax off and all my leads will disappear faster than you can say. No. <laughs> where can I find this Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Hmm. We're trying to save the world here, huh? Man, look at... These reflections are weird. They look good, but, uh, they're just, it's just weird. The frame rate can't handle it. My PC can't handle it. Uh, where are we going? Handle this guy's fucking dirty work. We just wanted to help Jenna. <laughs> Poor Jenna. Keeper. How many of these do I got? I got 14. There's six more. Jaleed. Jaleed was a scientist. I thought it was a cop. Track the signal. Oh, oh, that was a quest. From the casino thingy? I didn't know it was a quest. Damn. Uh, turn to the tower. We should go back to the tower. 
I need more ready gang points. Oh, tracking terminal. What did that do? We're just getting free XP. Weird. What is this? What is that? Is that a danger room? Is that the practice room from all the fighting games? Where they practice in the shitty white room? Ugh. I hate that. <laughs> really, if you're watching, um... Oh! I haven't saved in a long time. <laughs> I'll overwrite that. Or if you're... What was I saying? Fighting games. That was weird. Whoa. What is this? I'm guessing it's an elevator you're supposed to go down later, and it's like. Come on. Whoa. Whoa. can't do it what was I talking about I don't remember got the keepers oh the stupid training room <laughs> whatever I forget what I was talking about oh fighting games man when they choose practice stages for if they're doing like there's like a tournament going on that shit drives me crazy any stage with the practice stage, please. Uh, yeah, we should probably go to the Citadel Tower. Will this take me there? Presidium? Is there fast travel? There is. I don't know if there's any... Permanently, um... Missable quests. I think there are. There's some in Mass Effect 2. I don't know about like little side quests though. Hmm. What's up, Anderson? You used to be a specter, huh? Come on. Udina's presenting the Quarian's evidence to the council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Venezia. Who's that? Another fucking traitor. Who is she? Who is that? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience. They serve oh. as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Venezia is a powerful biotic and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Proteus. Then they vanished. Hmm. That's why they follow Saren. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Uh, does it matter? It's trouble. Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. Hmm. Don't be a fool. I tried to warn you about Saren and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Hmm. You're wrong. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If 
CERN finds the conduit, it will happen again. CERN is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Confrontation with who? The Geth? You can't... What? You want to destroy the Geth. Uh, same old story. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and it's damn human Ambassador. Oh shit, Udina. There is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. Udina, huh? It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. Quit holding us back. It was a Turian Spectre who betrayed this council. And it was a human who exposed him. I have earned this. Damn. This game's cool. Commander Shepard, step forward. Hope it holds up till the end, huh? Till part three, the end of part three. Hope it holds up. To, it'll hold up till then. Don't worry. That's not true. I haven't played three since it launched, and I never played the DLC. So apparently, it's a different game. Not different, but I've heard the DLC adds a shit ton to it. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire spectre. About time. I've been ready for this since Eden Prime. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Dina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. We did it, Udina. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training. You should go down to the C-Sec Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. Achievement in Origin and Steam. <laughs> Bastard didn't even thank you. Figures. What do you expect from a politician? <laughs> come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Poor Tally. <laughs> it's just me and Rex being assholes, and Tally's just there for the ride. Scouting talent? Whoa, Tally's ready to go. Chill, Tally. Save it again. Three hours, almost four. Did I get this keeper? I did. I got all of them. Uh, we're getting a ship. Speak to the ambassador. Lion's docking bay. That means we'll leave the citadel. Look at all these requests we have to do still. Oh my goodness. Got to help Jenna. Fucking Jenna. Read a sister. It was that one. The weapon shipment 
is involved in that one? Oh, I'm thinking of fists thing. Uh Okay, let's keep going. Let's go get our ship. It's at CSEC, right? CSEC and then the garage, I think. Is it this way? Whoa. Scanner, though. Uh, you know me? Why? Who wants to know? <laughs> Just checking for CSEC records. I can only sell goods to authorized personnel. Oh, you sell stuff. Will you be purchasing anything today? Commander what do you Shepard? got? Show me what you got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Well, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre. Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Whatever. Just show me what you got. <laughs> I'll open rare stocks for you, Commander. Rare stocks. Damn. 313. Good lord. Sniper. Uh license? Sure, I'll buy that. A grenade upgrade. We'll buy that too. What is this? Amplifiers increase biotic abilities. Oh, I don't have any biotics. I just got the tool. Uh, we'll keep ours. Okay, see you later. What's up, Rex? He's right. Do a better job, CSEC. Cool paint. Cool face paint. Where's this go? To the wards? No. Right? Aren't we supposed to go to CSEC? Meet him at the Alliance Docking Bay. Accessible through the Central Elevator and the CSEC Academy. CSEC Academy. Is it this one? Yes. Okay. Exogeny Corp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. Oh? Whoa. This looks cool. Okay. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. Ooh. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Feed her well, Commander. This isn't right. The Normandy belongs to you. You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Oh, shit. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. I know. We know this. You should have told me. Why didn't you ever mention this? What was I supposed to say? I could have been a Spectre, but I blew it. I failed, Commander. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. Okay. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. Hmm. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. Saren will pay. Saren's not gonna get away this time. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find <laughs> He got away. <laughs> we know the conduit. He's got us Geth scouring the traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharaohs and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. Maybe. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the Conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the Conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. Mmm, I'm on it. I'll stop him. 
We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. What? We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. I'll start there. Get Liara first. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. Fucking right, I don't. Your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. Shut up, Udina. I get stuck cleaning it up. That's your job. I'll take care of Saren. You take care of the political fallout. Not exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. Hmm. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. We'll deal with Udina. He went to bat for us. He almost said bullshit. Yes, Commander. Uh, are you okay? <laughs> Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. But you're the one who can stop, Saren. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. Tell me what happened with you and Saren 20 years ago. It's close to 20 years ago now. <laughs> Ambassador Goyle was our representative here on the Citadel. Like Udina, she wanted to get a human into the Spectres. She chose me. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me and evaluate my performance, just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you. What happened? I think I deserve the whole story. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Batarians? Capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. This doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm guessing things didn't go as planned? Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. Good plan. Agree with Saren. Good plan. He was smart. You needed a diversion. This went way beyond a simple diversion, Commander. The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the Damn. toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectre. Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Uh, That's not fair. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the council was going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent? I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living with her. Uh... What do you know about the Artemis Tau Cluster? Not much. I've never been there myself. A handful of systems with a few small, uncharted worlds, but no real colonies. Might not be easy finding Dr. Tassoni out there. My advice is to look for the world with the Prothean ruins. Okay. Any extra intel you can give me on our colony at Pharos? The entire planet used to be one giant Prothean city. Mostly ruins now, but some of the infrastructure is still intact. The colony tried to build on what the Protheans left behind. We lost all contact with them when the Geth attacked. What can you tell me about Novaria? Novaria's trouble. Always has been. The whole planet's basically a center for corporations to conduct illegal research. Corporations. Spectres are about the only form of citadel authority Novaria respects. But they aren't popular. Okay. I should go. I should go. Here if you need anything. 
Okay. Man, we got our ship. Oh, there's another one. I need... Is it three? Three or four? Four. Uh, hold on. What did this say? Find Liara. That's the priority. Will this get me onto my ship? No? How do we get on my ship? Yes, Commander. See you later. Go. I'll be here if you need me. Okay. Oh, up here? Whoops. Oh god. Inspecting. A private docking bay. Wonder how much the Alliance had to shell out for this. I wonder, Rex. Uh we don't board here? Oh we do. Whoa. Stand by shore party. Ooh. Decontamination in progress. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Hmm. I'm ready. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. You got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. Um, now we do things my way. <laughs> Listen up, Normandy. This is your commander speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. And I refuse to let anything get in the way of that mission. Uh. The council wants to ignore this. That's no surprise. They never helped us in the past. No reason they'd start now. But we don't need their help. We can do this on our own. I'm indoctrinating all of them. Making them all renegades. Wherever Saren goes, we'll follow. Wherever he searches for the conduit, we'll be there. We will hunt him to the very ends of the galaxy and bring him down. Oh my goodness, humanity's in this alone. That's not true. <laughs> this is the most important mission any of us have ever been on. The fate of an entire galaxy is at stake. Ugh, we get Ashley out of Saren, there. No matter what the cost. Well said, Commander. She's not a main character in this game. Uh, Commander would be proud. He doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> okay. We'll see. Captain's not here. I'm in charge now, Joker, and time's wasting. Get this bird in the air. Yeah, Joker. That was a weird cut. Come on, Joker. Let's go. Commander, something you need? No. I have to go. What the fuck? <laughs> I thought this was like a big, big moment of the ship's going to take off. Oh, I got to pick my spot in the galaxy map first. Okay. Oh. Presley. If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having non-humans on our ship. Whoa, dude. You doubt my decisions? I'm in charge here, Presley. I decide if we have non-humans on this vessel. Yes, ma'am. Understood, ma'am. Golly. Speak freely, Presley. I want to know if you have a problem with non-humans. It's not that, Commander. Humanity has always handled its own problems. Saren attacked one of our colonies. We should be the ones to stop it. We don't need their help. Mm. This is bigger than humanity. Saren's a threat to every species in the galaxy, and I'll welcome anyone who wants to help me bring him down. I guess so. Maybe I'm just stuck in the old ways of thinking. But don't worry, Commander. This won't be a problem. Okay, good. How did you end up assigned to the Normandy? I signed up with the Alliance as... Otherwise, he's out of here. School, ...following in my grandfather's footsteps, I guess. My first posting was on the Agincourt. We were at Elysium during the Skillian Blitz. A massive fleet of alien raiders hit the colony trying to wipe it out. They had the numbers, but their ships were no match for an Alliance frigate. It was a slaughter. We couldn't even keep track of how many ships they lost. 
How'd you end up on the Normandy? I got my officer's commission after Elysium. Must have made an impression on the right people. The captain asked for me when he was picking his crew. Carry on, Presley. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Open this map. I could talk to everyone. I want to get out of fucking... I want to get out of the Citadel first. <laughs> Whoa. Supposedly constructed by the long extinct Protheans, this colossal deep space station serves as the capital of the Citadel Council. Gravity is simulated through rotation and is a comfortable 1.02 standard G's on the wards and the light 0.3 standard G's on the Presidium ring. Interesting. Uh, zoom out. Whoa. Zoom out again. Zoom out again? Whoa. Should we go... Go to Liara first, dude. Liara. Exit. Oh, you gotta investigate, right? Exit is closer. Travel? Uh... I don't know which one she's on. Whatever. We'll go there. Whoa. not here <laughs> zoom out she's not in that one it loads it has to load another map you can't travel to everything right no oh shit <laughs> Artemis towel Explore the uncharted worlds of the Artemis Tau cluster to find Liara. Okay. She's not in this one. Unless you actually have to click on all of them. Oh, I could land here. Very dense atmosphere of ammonia and oxygen. I thought I would get survey, like a distress call or something. Scans from orbit have detected a large concentration of xenon. Okay. I could land here. Remember that. It's so weird that it has to load every time. Survey. Turian insignia recovered. Band and base on its moon. The recon team found nothing of interest. Okay. Did I look at this one already? Okay. Circe. Ooh. 90% oceans. 
free oxygen. It's free. Nothing else in here? I think that was all of them. Alright. I gotta look at all of them, I think. Weird. Okay. Nothing? Nothing. You could land here, too. We don't get like a distress signal or something from her. Gas deposit. I could land here. I'll land there. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know where to go. Uh, Garrison Tally. Or no, Rex and Tally. Oh man, remember this thing? Commander, I'm picking up some strange readings. Really strange, like off the damn charts. Oh yeah? It's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. Underground complex, huh? These parts suck. <laughs> Mass Effect 2 is right to get rid of this, uh, this cruiser part, the land cruiser. Oh man, frame rate. Too much smoke. Ah. Uh. Strange readings from an underground base? Hmm. Man, Monster Hunter came out for PC today. Monster Hunter Rise. I was thinking about getting it, but I was fighting. Um, I was playing the demo, and Mitsune, Mizutsu. I forget the water one, but uh, that monster sucks, and it made me not want to buy it. So, <laughs> surprised they put that in the demo. Can I shoot the lava? Yes. Where's this facility? Cannot exit. Okay. What's that? Oh shit. Is that a reaper? Oh no. Can you run him over? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Nothing over there? Oh god. Thought we were stuck in the mud. Saving. Oh, it said it was saving. Uh. Oh, shit. Sneak around? What's a Nathak? We'll sneak around. Do I have like an alt fire? Oh, I do. 
Oh shit. Can't shoot their missiles. Oh shit. Is there a dude in here? There's a marker. I gotta get out. Whoa. No helmet. Dude, put your helmet on. We're on a different planet. Weapon locker? Oh. Okay. Did it. Look at all those. Reduce the Omni Gel? Maybe I should start doing that. Oh. What are they doing? Oh my gosh. Gate? Whoa. Oh, uh, that's probably bad. My car's just sitting out there. I think I gotta open the other gate. That's not the gate I want to open. Although, what's going on over here? I see something. Okay, I got him. <laughs> Whoa. Another. Maybe this is the way to go. Leveled up. I feel like I've been leveling up a lot. Oh boy. Terrible aim. Ah, oh, fucker. Ran him over. Okay. Hello? I hope this is the way to Liara. <laughs> I'm not even sure if this is the right planet. Oh, that hit me. Run this guy over. Okay. Is this it? Is this it?
No? What is this? Oh boy. Oh god. Ugh. Okay, blow this up. No. Oh. That's, is that where it came from? No, that's where it came from. Squirrely. This car. Oh my god. Come on. Okay. Oh! Oh, what happened? Did I just fall through? What a stupid fucking game, dude. <laughs> it wouldn't be an EA game. I just fell through, didn't I? That's what happened. Okay. I should say it wouldn't be a Bioware game. Okay, we got him. So what happened? I went through here, I came out the other end, and I fell through the world. Okay. Damn it. Oh, yeah. Okay. We didn't fall through. Save it. Okay, this is it. Now we get it. Oh, what? I could jump? I did not know that. Oh. Mm. You fucker. I can, uh, okay. Oh, I didn't kill him. Peek. No peeking. Oh, he wasn't even behind there. Oh my god, get in cover. Or not. That's cool too, I guess. I remember back in the day when this came out, like, uh, for some reason, like, games were having a hard time figuring out cover <laughs> when Gears of War figured it out and Resident Evil. Oh, not Resident Evil. Oh, oh, what was that? I didn't realize this was so buggy.
Damn, one hit. Ugh. Okay. Two more. Oh, one more. Where is he? We did it. Oh, there's still one more. Oh, shit. Ugh. He's not dead yet. Am I even hitting him? Man, Rex got fucked up. Okay. Trooper. That gun's loud. Now what? Oh, over here? Okay. What is this area? Oh. Whoa. Oh, these guys. Oh, shit. Oh my god, Tally, where? I don't know how to get her up. Oh shit. Oh man. Rex is dead too? Oh shit. Yep. Hmm. I don't know when I last saved. Damn it. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a dude. Oh. Oh my god. They could snipe you from up there. Fucker. Ah. Uh. My shit isn't charged. None of them are charged. What the fuck's going on here, dude? Oh shit. 
fuck. <sighs> this game sucks. Okay. I bet you Liara isn't even here anyway. Tally is already dead. What is that grenade, dude? That grenade sucks. Ah, oh, this ain't it either. <laughs> These stalkers are the worst. Who did that? Where are you? Oh my god, dude. This fucking sucks. <laughs> uh... Sure. This pistol's better. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's what I'm wearing. That's what I'm using. Uh... I don't like how I can't res him. These fucking pieces of shit, dude. Oh my gosh. They just suck. They're just the fucking worst. Nice grenade. Awesome. It did damage me though. Didn't damage him. Only me. One more. Oh, you little bitch. Now it's just him. Where's this guy's health bar?
gosh, you can't swap sides for the camera. You have to aim. No. Fuck. I think that guy died. Dude. <laughs> Just went right between his feet, huh? Is there a dude up there? Oh yeah. What is this thing doing? Okay. All right, that's enough of this game. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> I'll try one more. Oh, what a piece of shit. Yeah, you guys fucking stay there. I'll come over here. Ah, oh, bitch. Ugh. Oh my gosh, dude. Can you fucking shoot him? God damn it. Oh. Got him. Uh, all right. You guys go there. There's a, a platform. Where does that go? Oh, there's the health bar. God damn, about time. Uh Oh my goodness. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck, dude. When this game's bad, it's bad. But also I'm playing bad, so it's... It's just fucking annoying. Everyone on me, get back here. 
Tally die already? I think she did. Rex is dead. I'm about to die right now. Just kill me. We're fatigued. Ah, oh, I wanted to get up there. Fuck. Ah, oh, this sucks. This is sucking right now. I gotta say. Especially when Tally just runs out. Fuck. Ugh. Is that all? Oh, there's one more? Where is it? Missed him. Ugh, it's the worst. Rex, dude. Isn't that for Tally? Shouldn't you go over there, Tally? Ugh, fuckers. You suck, Tally. You're not doing jack shit over here. I thought she killed that thing. Fucking goodness. Save it. Oh, we can't save it. There's still one more dude. Okay. Man, that fucking sucked. Alright. Oh, we still can't save it? Why not? Oh, yeah? What's in here? Ooh. Whoa. What is this? I don't even know I'm supposed to be here. Jammed? We're getting jammed up here? More enemies? 
fuck me. Did you steal that grenade? Man, this is the most combat I've done all day. Just been chit chatting the whole time with everyone. Uh, anything over here? Oh. What was that over there? I hope Liara's here. I don't think she is, though. <laughs> I have no idea what this place is. My memory is just... totally gone. Oh, what are these? Every time I see one of these, it just looks like a floating... It looks like a... A grenade. Real nice shooting. Oh my gosh, they both died? They suck, dude. No shield, huh? There it is. Is that it? Okay, they're up. Good job, guys. Another elevator? Wow. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Point of no return, there's no place back. There's no way back up. Guys, save it? Okay. <gasps> oh, it is her. Oh, shit. Can you hear me up there? I'm trapped. I need help. Yes. Keep it down. <laughs> Your mother is working with Saren. Whose side are you on? What? I am not on anybody's side. I may be Benezia's daughter, but I am nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. Okay. How did you get trapped in there? How did you end up in there? I was exploring the ruins when the Geth showed up. So I hid in here. Can you believe that? Geth beyond the veil! I activated the tower's defenses. I knew the barrier curtains would keep them out. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. Okay. Any suggestions on how we can help? There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the gas. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. A Krogan? Do you know him? Do you know him, Rex? That's racist, dude. Not all Krogans know each other. Uh. Oh boy. Look at all those guys. 
Uh, we'll save it again. They're just chilling. Alright, I'm gonna shoot him. Uh oh. <laughs> Oh boy. Leveled up again. Man, I really gotta deposit some points. Fucker. I think, uh, okay. I could just do that now, right? Squad. I could auto level up all these guys. Oh my gosh, you have so many. Sure, I gave them all that. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Not me. Undo. Okay. Oh, hacking? Well, she doesn't really hack. First aid. What's damping? Increase the explosion radius of your tech proximity mines. Shuts down at oh, it's specter training. Health accuracy and effectiveness of all techs. Grants unity ability. Restores oh well we need that. Okay. Advanced unity. Nah. Oh my goodness, dude. Shield boost? Should probably get shield boost. And the sniper. Required? Oh, you need five in pistol. Okay. Four in electronics to get damping. Uh. Seven in decryption. Oh, we could get more options. Motivated buyer. I want all the options, dude. Infiltrator. Um, I need to up my pistols to get more. To get more sniper juice. I should probably get this too. Assassination. Uh, whoa. 200%. Unlock damping. Advanced overload. Uh, that just blocks their abilities. That's probably very good. Hmm. Shield boost. Equip medium armor. Oh. Reduces health damage by 85%. What? Does not reduce damage to shields. Let's get that damping. And then... We'll get advanced sabotage. Not enough. Seven points in decryption. Uh, we'll put one in there. Okay. Got all that stuff. These are no good. Avenger 2 is better. Yeah, why aren't I using that? Whoa. This pistol's better. Edge 2. Oh, man. That's what I got, right? Yeah, that's what I got.
Grenade launcher? What? I don't have one of those. <laughs> Omni tool. I could give Rex a better shotgun. She's got snipers? Uh. Okay, all these are good. Let's. We won't see. Oh god. I forgot we're in the middle of a battle. <laughs> Mining laser? Whoa. Uh. I've never seen these. Whoa. Holy shit. That was really loud. <laughs> so we can go under. What's over here though? Anything? Secrets? Treasure? Storage locker? Okay. Weapon upgrade. I have these weapon upgrades, but I don't use them. I don't know how. Uh. Yeah, I don't know how. Hold on. What's our renegade at? Three. We gotta max it out. Nothing else. Ooh. Ooh. I think that's it. Was there anything over here? No. Okay. Man, sniper main? I never use snipers in games. Rarely. Whoa. We're going up? Oh, we are. Oh. What'd you do, Liara? <laughs> Superior firepower. We blasted through with the mining laser. Of course. Yes, that makes sense. Please, get me out of here before more Geth arrive. That button over there should shut down this containment field. You got it. Anything for you, Liara. Where Liara mains? Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, off. There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on. Okay. Well. I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia is involved? Seren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. He probably wants you to help him find it. The conduit? But I don't know. Oh. Uh oh. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. We're getting out of here. Joker, get the norm of the airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. I yeah, mister. Secure and away. ETA eight minutes. Eight minutes. He needs to move faster. Yeah, Joker. If I die in here, I'll kill him. Yeah. Uh oh. Rex. You okay? It's gonna be a a giant battle sequence that's gonna drive me crazy. Uh 
Oh shit. Who are you? What do you want? <laughs> Is there a reason you're in my way? The same reason you're here. The Asari. Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. And the doctor over. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. Kill him. We don't have time to deal with this idiot. Charge! Charge! I like your attitude. Oh shit. I don't know how both of them just died. Is Liara still alive? Or Tally, I mean? Where's Tally? Where'd she go? Okay. Who else? Oh, he's still alive. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's like rushing me. did it. We got the whole crew. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there and your pilot is making jokes. He's a jerk. Sometimes jokers are real ass. Just try to ignore them. <laughs> I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the continent? Oh, Ashley. Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. 50? Just how old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. That's it. Damn. I hope I look that good when I'm your age. You won't, a Ashley. Seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours. But among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. Hmm. Did your research turn up anything interesting? What is interesting is what I did not turn up. There's remarkably little archaeological evidence of the Protheans, and even less that might explain why they disappeared. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Mmm. How do you Where'd know you this? come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right. And eventually, I will be able to prove it. 
There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. What cycle? What are you talking about? The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. Hmm. Shut up and I'll tell you. You're not much of an expert, Doctor. Ugh. The answer's been standing in front of you the whole time. The Protheans were wiped out by a race of machines, the Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. Mm -hmm. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. Mm -hmm. This isn't helping us find Saren. Or Shut up, Kaiden. Of course, you are right. I'm Ugh. sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Ah, don't worry about it. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the conduit or Saren. Uh. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture. But not being a be dick to Liara. Bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her biotics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Great. Another alien. <laughs> no. <laughs> We're not Ashley. Welcome Good aboard. Good on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh. Whoa. I'm afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Prothean's true fate. I need some time to process all this. <sighs> me too, Liara. Not to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Uh, we'll talk we later. talk again after you've seen the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission Get out of here. Commander. You want me to patch you through to the council? Man, fuck the council. No. Aye, aye, ma'am. <laughs> okay. I'll tell Udina, and he could tell him. Uh. Oh, interesting. XP. Look at all these seats, dude. Eight seats for eight party members. I think you only get uh five or six though. Oh, we did it. We got the whole squad, dude. Oh, I can't change. Uh, I can't look at anyone. Um, I think we're going to end this stream, though, right here. We got everyone. Oh, oh man. Oh. Next one, though, we're going to talk to everyone. Talk to Liara. Did I just save it? We'll save it again. Oh, I didn't save it. Good, good, good. Um, I can't believe there's a photo mode. That really surprises me. But, uh... Ah, oh, man, it's dark in here. Dark. But, um... I don't know. Mass Effect, huh? It's alright. I'm liking it. The combat, though, dude. The combat still kind of sucks in Mass Effect 1. I mean, it kind of sucks in all of them. The, uh, 
the cover system has kind of always been bad. I remember it being better in two though. But uh, yeah. What's going on? With this oh. <laughs> it's Final Fantasy song. Uh. Yeah. Oh. Mass Effect 1, huh? I think I'll keep playing that. I don't know. Probably. I mean, what else is there? There's Monster Hunter Rise that came out today on PC. I don't think I'm going to get into that, though. I don't think so. 60 bucks, dude. Maybe... Maybe when the expansion comes out, I'll jump to PC. Because, man, it is very, very smooth on PC. Like... Man, that demo. Oh, look how smooth it is. You can tell in the video. It's crazy. Because I was playing it on Switch last night. Well, I played the demo, and then I played the Switch version, and I was like, oh. It's just not the same. <laughs> but, whatever. Disco Elysium had an update. Uh, yeah, I got work for the next two days. But I'll be on tomorrow night. <sighs> oh, man. Uh. Yeah. Death Stranding. I tried playing that yesterday too. Uh. No. <laughs> no, I don't think I'm gonna play that game. Death Stranding. I tried, dude. I almost want to replay Bloodborne. I don't know why. I turned it on yesterday. Maybe do New Game Plus or something. I get to do New Game Plus in any Souls games. Every time I play a Souls game, I always re-roll. Every time. Which, uh... I don't know. I enjoy that. Mm, I just like the feeling of progression. That's why I don't do a new game plus. Because I feel like once you get your build, like, that's it. You're not really progressing. Unless you just want to kill bosses over and over. Uh, man, I can't wait for Elden Ring, though. <laughs> man. Uh, also, I played this the other day. Ori and the Will of the Wisps. I didn't even know I've had it. So I was looking through my Steam library. And then, like, it wasn't installed. So it wasn't in my main list. Apparently I bought it in like February or whenever it came out, whatever. That game's awesome. That game's man. That game looks amazing. Uh, so many games, so many, but, um, I gotta eat something. Uh. Why am I looking at this? Okay. Did anything happen on the internet while I was streaming? Probably nothing, right? Just look at Twitter real quick. Not show the internet Twitter, though. Or show Twitch Twitter. Uh, Puyo Puyo Tetris 2 is $10 only? That's pretty cheap. Um, nothing, right? There ain't shit happening on the internet. Link's Awakening is $42. The remake, the game, that remakes, I don't know. It's okay. Chocobo Dungeon? What? PC Building Simulator is $1? That's not news. That's just sales. There's no news. There's nothing happening, dude. It's fucking Wednesday. I said Monster Hunter came out. $45? It's tempting. It's very tempting to rebuy it <laughs> for $45. But no. 
Ugh, there's also... I need to finish Inscription. Like, I really want to finish that game. I'll do it. Maybe tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Ugh, oh, man. Maybe I shouldn't have started Mass Effect today. I don't know. It's just... Working. It's hard to get back to games. But, uh... Anyway. <laughs> That's enough of that. That's enough of me staring at Twitter while you look at me staring at Twitter. But, uh... Yeah, I'll be on tomorrow. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Yeah. Anyway, peace out. So long. Thanks for watching. Thanks for following. And enjoy your night. What's today? Today's Wednesday. Wednesday. What's on Wednesday? Wrestling's on Wednesday. Good wrestling. Good. <laughs> if you ever consider any wrestling good, it's on today. But yeah, three inches down. All right, peace out. So long. Bye-bye. Where's the button there?